You are listening to The Decision Reel, brought to you by Bright Eyes Entertainment. Stop laughing. <laughs> Did it start? <laughs> I can laugh as much as I want. What are you talking? Don't tell me to not laugh. We're live. What's wrong with the laughing? decision reel? Jesus. Not yet. You got to wait till it gets in. You buzzkill. <laughs> That's the whole point. <laughs> Just trying to be serious over here. Anyways, welcome to the Decision Reel, where we try and review movies of today and yesterday and always fail because Wally laughs at everything. I do. Fuck off, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm just I'm starting. Happy. I'm joking. Anyways, uh, special episode. Uh, like always, Brent isn't here this week Weird. because he feels like showing up every other week now. Weird. Special guest, we have Tara <laughs> from certain things. I guess the band Nightcap, number one. Sure. Number two, just life in general. Yeah. So... We're here. I'm definitely featured in that. She yes. doesn't show up. <laughs> she she shows up. I show up when asked. When asked. I like it. She's been That's on perfect. one other episode. We did uh, Mean Girls with her. That's what, what uh, like episode Wednesday. 40. I really or love something. that movie. Yeah, that was a that was a good episode. I thought we was. had a very good decision real episode. Well, discussion. Was, there was a redhead in it. There's girls in it. I fit. Right. I so like why not one. bring it back to a movie <laughs> that I would love a female's perspective on with American Pie? We'll see. Oh, yes. <laughs> Like this, this movie gives me the heebie-jee. I, it makes me so fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> it's, it's a little cringy now. Oh, it's there's so cringy. many scenes. Like every scene for me, it, I'm just weak when it comes to that stuff, though. But like the scenes where <laughs> he's sitting in the car with the chick, and it's like "blow me beautiful" or whatever he says, suck, suck, me, beautiful. suck me beautiful. Suck me beautiful. I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> but isn't it isn't it supposed to be cringy though? Like, oh, I I think so. I hope right. So. I don't know. This is I've never too. talked to anyone about it. <laughs> I love that she laughs well, at him though, because that that's I love what how, makes it. how sweet she was. She <laughs> right, but she laughed first, and right. then she was like, "Whoa, <laughs> you're coming along a little strong." And the funny thing is, she's like the first year college student, yeah. right? So it's that I'm so much better and older than you, but I'm only one year out of high school. Like guys right? in college don't talk like that. Exactly, right? <laughs> suck me beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and then Stiff look, suck me beautiful. Like it's, it's okay. I feel like it's a good like representation of how high school was with your boys. Like everybody kind of said, like, hey, when man, did we I ever did this. do that? We never did that. Yeah, no. We made fun of each other. We did, but not like that. Well, I don't think any of us, did that happen to you? Any of those things? What, did someone say, suck you, me beautiful to Steve? Is that what yeah. you're asking? <laughs> Maybe once or twice. Probably. <laughs> I'm thinking. That's more likely, <laughs> I think, <laughs> than it actually it might happening. Be, you might have blocked it out. I might have. might have blocked it out. <laughs> it's okay. I hope if you it did happen, I'm blocking it out. Okay. No, see, yeah. that's that's the, I think a lot of you, things. You can talk you to can us. Talk to us. I, I watched a bunch of clips. I watched the, I always read the YouTube comments. Everyone was like, this feels so relatable. I'm like, what? I'm like, this doesn't feel relatable at all to me. What are you talking about? Well, I feel like the Maybe high school, the, like the high school aspect of it with like the, the characters all kind of trying to do stuff together and whatnot. And like the last year of high school or like the last couple weeks of high school, everybody's relating to that. You no. Know? Sure. Are we allowed to talk about like personal stuff on this? Like, say whatever you want. Virginity loss. Go for it. None of them until the fucking end yeah, of high school. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Is it a pact? Come on now. What about you, Steve? Look, my mom knows. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely I wasn't know. the end of high school. <laughs> I know, but that's what I'm saying. This is not. I don't know. Yeah, no, I get what you're saying. Like, but again, it's for like general audiences too, right? So what what what's a better story than at the end of high school at prom? You know what I mean? Like, it's because it's this it's stereotypical. Like, right. oh, prom night, right? You know. And I feel like Tara Reid's character was that definite. Like, it, it felt real to me with her being, she wanted to, but she wasn't sure. And then like, okay, we're gonna do it, and then we're gonna do it at prom. Like, it, 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 I want it to be special. Want to take right. the next step. I love you. It's not what it's I not thought. What I, was was <laughs> I, I want to say I love you when it's when it's right, when it's special. And she was like, mm. <laughs> like and who's who set, walks down the stairs saying they're tired of blowjobs? Like, and I, there's so many parts uh, of this. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. All right, dude. Have fun. That's a that's Bye, a. I heard friends driving around. <laughs> that's a very <laughs> real statement you just said. I was gonna say know, a poetic I, statement, <laughs> but you're right. No. Who's not. gonna be like? Tired of BJ's. I want to those, put, man. Yeah, I don't want anymore what? ever. <laughs> Can you do that accent again, Steve? I don't think anyone. Also, how would he even know? <laughs> Tired of BJ's. How would he even know? Put. He hasn't even had sex yet. So how would he even know that he'd maybe rather have it. sex? All right, maybe you know that—that's that, the true. white buffalo of it. Exactly right. He doesn't know. He thinks sex is going to be so much better than. A BJ, so he's just like, oh no, I'm tired of BJ's, and then he finds out, and he's like, man, I wish I wasn't tired of BJ's back then. Let's keep going. <laughs> Do you want to tell anyone what this movie's about before <laughs> we keep 
<laughs> go ahead. If they haven't figured it out already, Steve. This just sounds like a big old porno. I'm, I'm always bad at this. I like, mean, it's all right. It's all right. I'm good. Yeah. I'm always bad about getting us going. I feel like I need a a person who's better at intros and talking about what this is this and is introducing perfect. each other. That's, that's perfect. It's not. It's it's our show. Wow. Well, hey, whoever want. shows up, it's our show. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. So what were you going to say, Wally? Hold yeah, on. Yeah, we're, the, we're, the we're talking about all this weird all right, all right, well, yeah, stuff. Hit them with the... The real, what is it about? Real quick, this is the decision reel. We do stuff if we, you know we there review we things. We have Wally, Steve, Randall, and Tara this week. Like I said, Brent, uh, Brent's just doing his thing, living he life. Doesn't like us? coming here or us. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's kind of a dick. Yeah. Aww. Aww. Or it's I like, do miss him. I see him so much that he's like, I just, this that's guy, probably I see what it him. is. I'm fucking sick of Done him. With it. Yeah. Anyways, the plot of American Pie: Four teenage boys enter a pack to lose their virginities by prom night. Sour. That was a whole synopsis. That was the synopsis. Okay. Well, at least they were accurate. Nailed it. I mean, yeah. they were accurate with calling them boys because they were. Oh, that's for sure. <laughs> well, I mean, you got to think too. This movie is definitely targeted towards that demographic. It's not a woman first movie. No, for sure. I mean, I will say there's more progressive moments in this than the like the how to say the sequels. Where there was, those were more about yeah. like just sex and debauchery. <laughs> where yeah. I think this we showed did all together. We should have did all of them together. There's so many good scenes if you like. You break down all of them. Like, You're right. Like the reunion one, I, the I really, wedding one. Yeah. They're yeah. all. <laughs> there's so many good scenes in the other ones too. Anyways, the, well, I mean that's a good idea, but we could be here for a while if we did that. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah perfect. It'd be a long <laughs> episode. I yeah. mean, I got time. <laughs> You could have just I mean, done a week of it, like released one tomorrow, released the second or one. Or a month of it. <laughs> Almost like start our last <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> episodic adventure with March Myers. Episodic. Oh, yeah. I like that word. You like that? Oh, that's that's a word. Randall that liked adventure. it. That's, that's good. Episodic oh. adventure. <laughs> Is that a real word? Did you make that up? Episodic? No way. That's episodic. a real word. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah. oh. That's a new one. We do episodic adventures here. Is that real? I don't know. But where to watch this oh, movie? Currently, if you have a subscription, <laughs> you can watch this on the cock. Peacock. <laughs> uh, also, Philo and Fubo TV. Uh, to rent, Amazon, YouTube, Google Play, Apple TV, and Voodoo. What do you... It's a word. The cock, yeah. No. That's what no, episodic. Call. Steve, oh. it's the cock. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> of course cock's a word. <laughs> Where Brandon I come just, from, his dictionary. He, he just searched the word cock like he did. <laughs> like he is did. cock a no, word? Is cock a word? Anyways, it spells it P H. Cock. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, what? Is what? that fucking Vietnamese food? <laughs> I don't know. This was written by Adam Herz, H E R Z, or everywhere else in the world, Zed. He's done all the main American Pie movies. Also wrote My Best Friend's Girl, which I love. That movie's hilarious with, with Dane, Dane Cook. Cook. Yep. Great movie. If you haven't seen it, Wally, I know you have. Oh, no, I have. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. Right. Uh, he also did the new American Pie Girls Rule movie, which came out on Netflix, I think, last year. How and many are there? Does anyone know? Too many. So like if you're looking at main American Pie movies. All of them. Anything with that so there's, franchise So there's four main ones with the main characters. The same, yeah. Right. And then there's one that they just did with the Girls Rule. Then if you look at the other ones, there's American Pie Presents Beta House, The Naked Mile, Book of Love, Bandcamp. I think there was an, is a this sequel in your to Bandcamp. Brain right now? You yes. have this in your brain. It's in my brain. I've seen them all. Um, you didn't look this up. I've seen them all. No, no, no. So, Steve yeah. loves yeah. Steve loves these ki- he, these spe- these kinds of movies. What does he, is this a genre? What <sighs> yeah, kind of genre? I don't genre even is this? like cringe. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> kind of. Well, like stupid high school nineties nineties esque yeah. type yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah. Like this is, this is his wheelhouse. This is definitely my wheelhouse and. Like Euro Trip. Euro Trip, Road Trip. Road Trip, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Another Team Movie, Scary Movie. Like, all these movies are all the same kind yep. of feeling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they don't make these type of movies anymore. And I wanted to kind of talk about this, and then we're going to get into it. Is it just me? And I'm going to ask you, because you're like 10 years younger. Well, he's not that much younger, but he's getting there. He's getting there. He's, he's almost... getting younger he as doesn't. we get older. <laughs> <laughs> right. that way, but okay. Well, my question was going to be, like, as I was growing up, I noticed all the movies around me were tailored to my generation, like mm-hmm. American Pie, like all these movies where we're in school and we're graduating or we're going to college and yeah. blah, blah, blah. I don't see any of those movies coming out anymore. Mm-mm. The last one I remember is like Project X. Right. Remember that? And that was... Yeah. 
years ago. 2010, yeah. maybe? There's yeah. a new one that's out, actually. It's like, it's middle school. They're trying to... Wait, so what's the question? Is the question, like, is... So are the, the kids or the teenagers of the current generation receiving the same kind of media? That's what I'm saying. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like that to me. I feel like we got tailored to our demographic growing up through the years, and we kind of went along with all these movies that were made for us when we were children, then to you know young adults, then to college, and now... I don't adults. think there's iconic ones. There's definitely no. Not iconic there was ones. there was a new one on Netflix like a couple months ago that I watched. It was like these kids like babysitting and they had to like go to the mall get this drone or whatever. That's like the only thing I've had. Good, good uh, not I've good had good boys. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this was also oh, it yeah, too. It's like theater, too. theater. Yeah. This was like a going to the theater and watching stuff like this was a yeah. staple. Yeah. Nowadays, it's like it's Netflix <laughs> factorized on and sh- shelled out. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff that they want to think is like that. But it just doesn't reach the same amount of people. Well, that yeah, you know and what I'm yeah, that that's actually a good point. Is if they make it, are people going to watch it? Yeah, this was like our venue, right? Mm. Going to see right, a movie was especially our the what this is about. You can't make this movie today. Oh hell no! no. no. There'd be so many feminists no. like fuck you. Well, think about <laughs> suck my vagina. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, if we're gonna get into Sorry. it, right? <laughs> if we're gonna get into it, think about. <laughs> <laughs> we could do that. It's fine. No. If you think about the scene in which, you know, they set up a webcam to watch a girl yeah. literally undress. Yeah. And it's like a little s- fucked up. Can't Probably do not that. anymore. No. Nope. Can't do There's that. There's a couple nope. different ones. I like the the CB. They're like, uh, they're painting the quote unquote lesbian. Oh, in the house. second movie. The second one. Oh, yeah. 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 See, that's what I'm saying. That's I'm the, second. One. the yeah. second one's good. But <laughs> yeah, the big blue dildo. They're like, right, yeah. <laughs> Stifler's waving around. But. And he like uh, deal, 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 there's deal. people like the local <laughs> like the beat shop and shit that are all like they're hearing it over the radio yeah. to talk the, the yeah exactly the trucker yeah you call it. lesbians oh yeah I'm trying to remember the line he's just like it's not gonna suck itself or something I can't remember <laughs> I get it it's something like that. I just like how he's under the bed with the dildo in his hand yeah, and he yeah. just and he just like it. sets it to the she's like maybe it's under the maybe it's under the he's bed like, <gasps> and he throws it out then covers himself with like a slip on. <laughs> yes, like a shoe. <laughs> oh, that's a great scene. What is Johnny West doing? In my <laughs> yeah, and I he picks that it up was like dildo at first. I got the names mixed up. Yeah. <laughs> John, I, yeah so, like, West. is the second movie better than this one? I think so. I think personally, so. I think they're both good. I think they're both really good. I don't know which one's better though. This first one has way more cringy things for me. I would yeah. say the first one definitely when it came out figuring out the sex part of it. I think that might be it. Like, yeah, you remember like being like kind of weirded out by certain things, like. You ever get the goosebumps when you see someone like go through something? Like, was it empathetic or sympathetic or something like that? That'd be empathetic, see, right? Yeah, yeah you're someone, having I'm anxiety like, oh, for somebody's oh, do problems, it. right? Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. It's so the whole like terrible. Jim talking to his dad scenes, you're probably cringing. Oh my god, when he walks in and his dick's in that fucking apple pie, and his dad's <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, and then right afterwards, what does he say? He sits something at the table. He's like, oh, I, we're just gonna tell your mom we ate it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, just, uh, that whole thing. That we uh, what we a good, ate it all. what a good dad. Perfectly yeah. great. Like right like there, right? Best yeah. dad. He's the best. <laughs> he's honestly the so best supportive. character of the movie. So supportive. Best character and still the most relatable character, I feel like. of the, As you get older, you start to appreciate the dad more, I think. I have no idea. I'm a dad. I have no idea what I would do. I don't even want to. Which part? I don't Walking even want to talk about this anymore, actually. Well, like, think about no, the no, beginning. Hold on, hold on. No, this is perfect. This is perfect. Think about, this. think about this. The first part of the movie is him trying to watch scrambled porn, right? Yeah. yeah. He's like, that's a titty. That's a titty. And uh, she walks in. Oh, it's an an- you know I'm trying to watch an animal special or whatever. Oh, I think she's trying to watch, you know, illegal porn. And <laughs> even the dad is having a bro moment with the son. Like, like, no, no, no. He he knows, but he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. no, he ain't trying to watch it. And then that's like his job throughout all the movies too. Well, and then he, yeah, he yeah, buys yeah. and then he ass. buys him the magazines, brings them to him. Opens them up. This Puts is a them, woman, right? <laughs> so you open that up to the center, too, right? That's what you're. I also to do feel like a really late. Time to have that conversation with I your know, son. right? A yeah. fucking senior, like, or, right? That's a senior. Yeah, yeah fucking, senior high school. He's about to, gra- yeah. I mean, that's crazy. obviously part of the joke, too, though. Like, well, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's hilarious. And again, though, like, what a what a supportive good dad. Yeah. You know, so if I, you need advice, Wally, on what to do, watch these Eugene watch movies. Levy. Yeah, Eugene not going exactly to use these for fucking <laughs> telling my son. No, my th- everything's desensitized now. I'm sure my son already knows about all this. I just don't want to have that conversation. 100% knows. Yeah, there's no waste. So this is, this is, Deep and sad. He's a young man. I'm not giving his exact, exact age, but there's no way he acts innocent. But there's no way. You know what when you, you were like twi- when you were a y- too late now. But you know, remember when you were really young, right? Like around that maybe tween sure. age, right? Yeah, you knew a lot. Yeah, and yeah, only yeah, yeah. you can only imagine now. 
Well, no, are you saying that him and his dad having that conversation wouldn't happen? You think no, I'm just you're saying, saying it happens more naturally now? Like they just find out? Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, that's what oh, I'm saying. I'm saying, saying, yeah, there's okay. no way. Every There's so much, st- like, I, games and shit. Like, I, the mm. games I see they're out now and, like, the TV shows, it feels like there's it's just so overloaded with information. Well, and the internet, that a young man obviously, should not get a hold of quite yet. Yeah, the internet, too, <laughs> has made it so you can just Google yeah. whatever I, you want. And I think, yeah. like, you can only parental control to s- such an extent. Like, yeah. if they're going to find it, they're going to find it. Right, find exactly. Right, right. Friends or whatever. You see this shit? Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's what my cousin did. That's how I learned everything. My son a- accidentally, <laughs> he, he, he like, cousin. he has got that, Great that tween banter with his other friends. So I know he knows certain things, but I can hear him upstairs like yelling at his buddies while he's playing video games and oh, the yeah. shit that leaves his yeah. mouth. I'm like, wait, hold on. And then no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yep. There's no way. Walk in there with a giant shoe like, you said what, boy? <laughs> you said Roman. No, daddy, no. I didn't think Roman meat helmet was a thing anymore. Clearly is. I guess. Roman meat helmet. What yeah. the fuck is that? It's when you lay your balls on someone else's head. And my That's clearly my son that? fucking knows about it. That's what yeah, I heard him yell. Call that? Usually I'd be like, whoa, whoa, calm down. Stop that. I, but when you say something like that, I don't know how to go up there without laughing. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> how do you be like, look, look son. Laugh he's, first, fucking, and he, then. he's just fucking, he, and he's killing all his buddies in his games and stuff. And he, he's like teabagging. It's hilarious. It's, it's Do funny. you? Utter those words while you play your game? I not those ones specifically. Where did he learn that from? But I have uttered mm. some pretty serious stuff. Right? I play games with you guys. Well, <laughs> nice. I know what but you like, say. I'm the angry but one. Does he <laughs> hear you say it? You know what I mean? Like he's I probably just like, Well, daddy says it, so Well no, I'm more of fucking like a Roman meathead. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I, I like I I don't know, I say like suck my ass and stuff like the stuff I say suck is my like ass. has there's no it doesn't make any sense. W- Wally well, is straight to the point. There's you know, no like <laughs> there's no ass. hidden nicknames or innuendos. He's just straight to the point. Suck Fuck. my ass. Well, next well, time you play a game, you need to once you Randall, kill somebody. I yell at Randall all the fucking time. Doesn't be way too much. <laughs> like what the fuck are you doing? He's like running off killing himself. He's like up against a wall like running into Next him. time you kill Randall in a game, <laughs> you have to tell bad. him <laughs> suck me bad. beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they call me Nova. I, just, this is a, Nova. Nova. I don't mean to like this last little tangent I'll take, but I was All playing right. Call of Duty and I made a YouTube video of it. And this I killed the same guy over and over again. Every time I killed him, there's those death comms. And he's like, "Good job, pussy boy." <laughs> <laughs> it's oh literally, sorry to spit. It's like pussy eleven boy. times. He's like, "Pussy boy." Oh, that's real nice, pussy boy. Oh my God. <laughs> It's a YouTube video. It's so good. I will have to watch that. <laughs> what is your What is your YouTube channel? Uh, well, three 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 yes. seven. Three threes and a five. Okay. Five. Oh, five. Idiot. I am not that his is best my friend, social then. security yeah. number. <laughs> no, look at this guy. <laughs> Four digits. <laughs> Anyways, back to American Pie and the writer uh, Adam Hers. He also wrote a TV show that only ran for five episodes called call, called Go Fish, starring Kieran Culkin in two thousand one. Is it related to Macaulay? Yeah, that's his brother. His younger oh. brother. Yeah. So the one who gets his face smashed up against the chair in Home Alone, oh. that's his younger oh, brother. Yeah. Oh, and shit. then yeah, yeah. The, why didn't that come actual, up when we that didn't yeah. come up when we watched Home Alone? It did actually. We talked about that? We talked about that. Don't wow. you lie to me. I'm gonna go back and watch that again. Because wow. I did watch that one. Yeah, go back. You can find all of our old videos <laughs> 17 spins. on YouTube <laughs> and our channel, The Decision Reel. <laughs> nice plug. You Thank need you. A, that Thank needs you. to be a sound thing. What? The decision reel. Just hit it. The decision reel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We also have merch, by the way. You can see our t-shirts right now if you're watching on YouTube. You can buy and support us. She can't turn her head. Oh, sorry. You can't. I mean, I could. (laughs) Well, you're not on camera if you want to look. She's so stubborn. They're good now. (laughs) They look really good. Look. She's like Batman. Yeah. Like 90s Batman. I've seen them. (laughs) Yeah, okay. Well, then you've watched the show. Yeah. All right, cool. I'm going to ask you, Tara. <laughs> oh my God. Stop. We don't have a lot of people that come on here. Stop picking off. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm out already. Anyways, this was directed by Paul Wirt- Wheats. Wheats? 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 I can't. Wheats? W E I T Z. Wheats? Well, Wheats? If there's not Wheats? an R in it, that it's not. Wirtz. I know. I my eyeballs. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Paul Wartz. I don't know. Is, would it be Wheats? Whites. 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 Is it German? Does it look German? Is it like the I E? I don't even. Anyways, anyways, anyways. <laughs> anyways, he also directed Down to Earth, Little Fockers, Admission, and was the writer on one of the writers on The Nutty Professor Two. Is that the third Meet the Fockers? Uh, yeah. Fockers. Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Also a great movie because it's Meet the one. Parents, Terrible. Meet the Fockers, Fockers. then Little Fockers. Yeah, yeah. Why haven't they made a Meet the Parents 
with Ben Stiller as now the parent. Oh, with That'd his be whoever coming to meet him, and he has to go yeah. through the same trials and tribulations Ooh, yeah. in a different way. And then you can have Grandpa Fokker. <laughs> out there well but just like a cameo like not, right, right, not right. in the whole movie just like he pops in in the end or something like he shows up like eh, see <laughs> grandpa Fokker's here and then just walks away <laughs> Ben exactly. Stiller's I guess he's he's not, doing theater now he's not Fokker oh yeah he would be uh, what was their even I name? Uh, name I don't remember I don't either because meet nope. the Fokkers was because his family right his right oh, all I know is he's a nurse and he tried to milk cats cats Yep. That's all I remember from that. And then Granddad's Ashes. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> it's so <okay>. Jinxie, no. <laughs> so this is starring... Takes a shit in <laughs> What? Like, the cat take a shit? Takes a piss <laughs> on the ashes. Yeah. 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 I, really yeah. I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? <laughs> he has like his little fucking <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what a great movie when you the think noise. about it. Yeah. So uh, American Pie is starring... I'm going to go down in... In an order that I think this is what the movie thought the main characters were, Thomas Ian Nicholas as Kevin. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's the main character of the movie. So I this is I want to talk to you about this because okay. I got I don't know their names too well, but the dude that fucked the pie and Jason then, Jim, Banks. Jason and the Banks, dude, Jim, the dude that has the we're gonna lose our virginity monologue. Kevin, yeah. I didn't know who was the main. Right, right. Character. I feel yeah. like Between Kevin was two. supposed to be the main character, and uh -huh. then. As the movie went on, it felt like eh, it could be anybody. And then they saw once the movie obviously came out, people m gravitated more towards Jim. Mm -hmm. So the next yeah. two movies were like it, they were married. they were his movies. Yeah, well, yeah. Jim Jim's the only one they showed at home with his parents and everything, so yeah, it, it made it, it seem like it was more geared towards yeah him. It's weird because and the movie you're right. starts with him, you're right? I mean, but I feel like mm -hmm. it's still like most of the dialogue that that Kevin's saying is a main character type thing. Well, sure, but. And he feels it, like the the leader of the gang and whatever, and I, I don't know. It's just it's weird. It's like in both places almost. He's actually for probably no reason. my least favorite character. I know, right? To be honest, and a lot of the movies that he plays in, like what was it? The one we just watched was it Road Trip. Did I watch Road Trip by myself? No, who's a, where, where was the so where was the movie where he's like he made a sex tape, or he made some sort of tape and he ships. That's it Road off. Trip, but that's, that's not trip, that's, but not, that's him. not him. Yeah. But the other that's guy, Breckin the other guy, right? Who's the other guy? The other guy. It's the other fucking dude. Am I getting this wrong? There is no. Uh, there's nobody in the same movie as Road Trip as in American Pie. You're thinking Sean, of no Sean William Scott. Sean William Scott's in Road Trip. Oh, you're right. You're right. That's not who I'm thinking of though. I think oh, well, I then, he gets then the you're finger. Wrong. He gets the finger. Then you're wrong. The yeah. You're that? thinking of DJ Qualls or whatever <laughs> from that? the new guy. Could be. Sean I'm looking up though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need Stifler. to prove myself. Uh, I need to see the face. Sean William Scott. Go ahead. Anyways, you guys keep going. All. Anyways, Jason Biggs is Jim. Chris Klein is Oz. Sean William Scott is Stifler. Eddie K. Thomas is Finch. Tara Reed is Vicky. Allison Hannigan is Michelle. Shannon Elizabeth is Nadia. Mina Suvari is Heather. Jennifer Coolidge is Stifler's mom. Natasha Leone is Jessica. Eugene Levy is Jim's dad. You're 100% right. So who are you guys. thinking of? The the main character in Road Trip. I got to mix that with the Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well. I love saying that name. Breckenmeyer. 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 Yeah, I definitely don't feel like Natasha should have come before... A lot of those characters, but the way she's built in the movie, she comes before those. Yeah, characters. but Mina, Mina was in it mm -hmm. more. She was one of the girls that the guy ends up with. I agree. So yeah. Why would she? Who's be the one that showed her boobies? That's Natasha. Natasha, yeah, mm -hmm. or, she's very pretty. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, sorry, not Nadia. Nadia. <laughs> she's Shannon pretty Elizabeth. Pretty. Oh, Nat Natasha Leone is Jessica, the gotcha. girl who oh, right, right. who's like the slutty girl who's apparently had sex and whatever. But Tara Reed's best friend. Or Although whatever. on the boobies Everybody. thing, you, that's super illegal. All that can't just. Oh, you mean record. like filming? Yep, can't oh, yeah. just. I always heard right. Can't just <laughs> put her out there like that. I think that's a big one in this movie too. Like, oh shit. <laughs> well, it's crazy too because ninety nine, right? This is like the cusp of that internet age where yep. people mm -hmm. weren't video chatting, even though they kind of well, show see him it even doing when he it. Does it? It's, right, it looks. It's definitely old school. Oh yeah, like, it looks like shit and yeah. whatever. And they're. It's funny because they're all using Mac computers in this mm -hmm. movie, which who was in ninety nine? Not, not those, a lot of people. Do you remember that? This was that was a Windows. He had a Windows one. No, every, uh, the operating system that so that's oh, funny. Oh, the OS. So it, there was a, a Windows 
It was a Windows PC, but they were using the OS of a Mac. Because the old the old Macs were like colored and Mm -hmm. translucent, Mm -hmm. not quite transparent. Yeah, yeah, right. I see you looking at yourself now. Well, no, I was watching you because you watch yourself more than he does. You look at us. You always look up there. I'm always always watching the whole time. Maybe I should put it over here. I'm not looking at my. Well, I guess I do look at myself. What a narcissist! I know. What a fucking we're over fat. I look like Yukon Cornelius. Zoom in. You know, from, from the Christmas from movies. The movie. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at that. Like, you call him. The movies. It's funny because if you were to move closer <laughs> to me, I feel like the, the lens distorts you out towards you. Like, this is my neck. <laughs> that's 100%. That's 100%. It. Anyways. Jesus. What a good Sorry. looking man. <laughs> what? Nice little I'm not fucking photogenic. I'm not help. here to be beautiful. I'm not help the. Because I'm sitting here looking she could be at pretty, Wally. Randall could be pretty. <laughs> Steve could be pretty. I'll be over here. And I'm sitting here looking at Wally, but he's looking. I, it doesn't matter where I'm at. Screen, I'm always watching so. that. It's hard yeah. for me not. I got to dinner and then <laughs> I'm, if there's anything on, it could be any sport. Even if I don't fucking watch it, I watch that. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know why I do it. No, we Sean, Sean at shows watches the TVs while he's playing. Yeah, like like I used ADD to do that maybe. I don't fucking know. Like if there's it. football or whatever. On. Mm-hmm. I did that when I played with Philip. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Just watches. It looks like he's not yeah, fuck that. interested. <laughs> you know, in yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So anyways, uh, right. this is rated R yeah. for strong sexuality, wow. crude sexual dialogue, language and drinking, all involving teens. Mm. That's illegal. That might be another reason they can't do this. You know, I don't think they can get away with a lot of this stuff and try to present it to a younger crowd. Well, that nowadays. Project X movie was... If you make a movie like this, it's going to be yeah. for us. It's not going to be for a younger yeah. crowd. I don't disagree with you. I'm just trying you know to think if there's anything that's come out lately. And again, well, it's one boys. of... They but that was but they were they were stuff. younger. Even. But they weren't they were fucking. Very young. They were younger, which was even yeah. worse. I feel like they weren't jizzing in cups like and handing it to people high. to drink. I mean, <laughs> I did. My parents wouldn't want me to watch this. No, <laughs> fuck no. My mom no. was like, "Oh nope. my god, god uh, watch when that I this. when I watched this movie, it was at a friend's house because I was absolutely yeah. not yeah. supposed to be watching it." Yeah. Same with me. When I watched this movie, my parents we had a, a mutual friends that we went to, and they had like the same daughters that were the age of me and my brother mm-hmm. so we go over there and hang out all the time that's good right and uh what is that the the, the blue raspberry yeah, yeah. You want to take a sip? it's the last one because i had to take a little sip take a little pull of that it's good it's better than this watermelon take shit a sip of my yak. you don't like the watermelon one? i fucking hate watermelon Ooh. Yeah, that's tasty it opened it up. the blue raspberry bud what? light we're gonna do a plug do a plug the seltzer sours not until after green apple but this is black because the green screen it tastes like a slurpee black apple it genuinely it's a black tastes like, Mine t- tastes Mine's like a the slurpee. Right color. Like a yeah, blueberry. Right. Yeah, it is. Mine's the right color. It's it's blueberry. <laughs> raspberry? No. Anyways, what the hell was Blue I saying? Raspberry. Um, um, today's drink. Oh, yeah. When I saw the movie. <laughs> <laughs> we could do that. A drink. You might as well. Today. We always drink when yeah, we go right. on here. So. No, so uh, the first time I saw it was at a friend, my parents' friend's house. They were upstairs hanging out, and we were downstairs watching this movie, and I can't believe what I was seeing. When You know, like, yeah. oh, my God. Yeah. So where to do it. When did you see this movie? <clears throat> oh, yeah, because you weren't... Yeah, because you wouldn't have Randall seen it. Randall Hall, had to Are be, you 26? Uh, yeah. You're 26. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, what I thought. So you were... I mean, so it was probably middle you school. You were... No. Randall's when I saw it? When it came out? Randall's not when it came child. out. No, I'm talking about when it came out. That's why I was asking. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 99, right? Yeah. I know Steve's probably going to tell us later, right? Yes, correct. Ninety nine. You already it said 99. it was. Yeah, yeah, I did. Did I? I'm so yeah, fucking yeah, bad yeah, at yeah. this, man. Why am I? It's fine. I suck. Yeah, yeah. No, I was so four when, when it came out, out. I was like eleven. But yeah, when it. You, so when I'm did not you ask see you, it? I'll though. just do the math. <laughs> Probably middle school. Okay. I was born but like at a friend's house. Born in eighty eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, so you're the same age as me and Miss Goldie. Yeah. yeah. We're all the 88, 30, 34, 35 Come, year coming old. Coming up, thirty four. Fucking hate it. This is awesome. We had that conversation yesterday. I like. I get old. Can't wait to be home 60. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm going to go home and do whatever. Nah, I don't want to get old. I don't care. It's very true. I do not want to get old. My back's been hurting since I was 28, so it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really It ain't going to hurt any worse. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's funny. So this, the runtime on this guy right in the pocket of Brent was here at 95 minutes. Very brisk, very easy. It does feel a little longer than 95, I think, just because what it what it kind of does and the ride it goes on, it feels longer than it actually is, but it's a lot still... A little baby arcs in the movie. Yeah, a there's, a, there's a lot of like story building especially with finch where they're trying to make him like the banter cooler but- than he oh, is oh he's so yeah. uh, he's such a minor character in the first one in comparison to the second one for sure and wedding mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah. i love the relationship between him and stifler, stifler. it's Shipper. hilarious Shipper. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's so good especially in the the, the following movies for sure yeah, yeah exactly yeah, when he when he <laughs> walks in him and his mother and he faints <laughs> it's so good Shipper. 
<laughs> it's funny, at the end of this movie, not to get to the end of it, but there's something I didn't remember, and that's him calling Nadia on his computer and, like, video chatting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I figured... Dancing? Right, because but if you look at like the the start of the next movie, it's him trying to get back with her and being ready for her to come back, and like he's well, got to win her over. They've been writing each other and stuff. Because she just, went back, right? Yeah, she yeah. It back. just yeah. seemed like I don't know. I, I it, it seems different in my head, like that they like it he, wasn't a proper continuation, right? Like, like he he needed to win her back, but at the end, yeah. it seemed like they were fine. Yeah, you know, because he's like dancing for him, all that, and yeah. then Eugene Levy steals the show. Yeah, again. well, didn't she know. find somebody else while she was over there? I don't know that it was a. I don't think it was a winning back type thing. I think it was just he wanted to take the next level when in person. Yeah. when she got there. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I don't that think it sense. was a win her back. I think he's it was not, just wanting right. to get her when she got back to the states. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, which he could have, but. Easily, you know, easily. So this was released officially, mm-hmm. July 9th, nineteen ninety nine. Three days before my birthday. Oh, sorry. So like we were boss. ten, not eleven. Not quite. We weren't eleven yet. I was right there. Mm. Right Almost. There. I was three. <laughs> <laughs> Randall just. What was I doing that Randall wasn't doing at a certain age? A lot. Randall was getting his diaper changed, and I was peeing standing up. So yeah. just being a That's man. That's a clear one. <laughs> clear. <laughs> All right, we were, we were going to school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Randall definitely wasn't. No, nah. maybe. Well, maybe like daycare or whatever. Yeah, pre yeah, school. Pre school. Pre pre. Pre. It's, yeah, the, it's the daycare that they call school. No. Right, but it's not. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna I say was like, we're we're learning cool. equations <laughs> and you're pooping yeah. in diapers. <laughs> now, when I was three, I was not in diapers anymore. So you don't know. I do because I remember. My third birthday you is when I remember. started all the things. We're, all of us are doing really? like math right yeah. now. <laughs> trying yeah. to figure my out third birthday, I started remembering things, and I was not getting my ass wiped by my mom. <laughs> I was graduating uh, high school, and Randall was still pissing. Your fourth, your fourth. <laughs> Wait, weren't you nine? A while after <laughs> being three, so like while you were three, you still could have been. Ah. Just because you weren't on your fourth birthday no, doesn't mean why you were three. That's why I said my third birthday is when I started remembering. See, here's the math. I'm pretty sure you said fourth. Rewind it back. I could be wrong. <laughs> On my third birthday. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. Oh. You know, it's it is. It's wild to think about, like, what your first memory really is, but you would never know. Mine was my third birthday, and I got a tricycle. Super stoked about was it. Was it red? It was black. <laughs> Ooh. Even cooler. <laughs> Murdered yeah, out tricycle in 99. <laughs> green wheels. I think mine was big standing up because I remember the toilet seat going flap. <laughs> <laughs> My mom says this too. She thinks it's fucking hilarious. I don't find it that funny, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> God, mom. I can't that was your that. first memory? That's all right. That's the one I think of. There's like another one too where I fell out of like, there was a really tall bed. My parents had a really tall bed and I was dicking around. And I just ate shit and busted my lip open. <laughs> nice. But trauma will it. always keep a memory there. Yeah. 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 Unless you block it out. No, good good there. trauma. How about that? Yeah, Not yeah, bad yeah. trauma. <laughs> Being lazy as a child and that's good trauma, your right. pee-pee on the toilet seat. Right. A learning <laughs> trauma. Yeah. No. yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Budget time. Mm. What do we think it cost this movie to make? I would ask me first because it was my pick, but Steve, I'm going to Wally first. What? Steve, what is it? Okay. Uh, don't, don't, don't do this to me. I, I'm so don't, bad at this. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to You're me. first. I don't so care. How much does it, so how much did it cost? To make, to make it. it. Right. right. In 1999. Well, 98 probably because that's and when And there's like shot. Yeah. no one in this movie at the time. These are all... Well, these are full. all the only person Except who's Eugene. big. Eugene Levy, sure. Stuff. Um, yeah. Stifler's mom, sure. But the the guy who I think is trying to be the main character, Kevin, he was a child star. He was in. He yeah. was in. He was in. The, what is it? The baseball. Yeah, the baseball, baseball rookie of the year. Yeah, yeah. He was in King Arthur's Court. Yep. He was in some other kind of bit parts around million. there. 14 mil he's going for. All right. I'm going to go to Randall next. 14 mil? To make it. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't use me as a metric whatsoever. I'm, I can't. No, <laughs> I'm gonna go like eight. Okay, eight. There wasn't much going on. You're right. You're you're absolutely so, right. There's not much going yeah. on. Tara, what do you think? I'm gonna go in the middle. I mean, they did. You know, they were filming at a school. Mm-hmm. They were filming at a high school. Mm-hmm. So, if they filmed not during a school year, you know, maybe during the cost, summer, maybe yeah. didn't yeah. cost them anything. Probably to, not. Yeah. So I'm gonna say. I don't think 14. I'm going to say 10. She's going 10. Go 10. She's going 10. Overall budget, $11 million. 
Damn. Damn. Look at you. Knowing stuff coming Closest in here. without going over. <laughs> right. That's how that works. Exactly. Right? Price is right. fortune to our ass. Mm. Our price is right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need over here. Some Jeopardy theme song. <laughs> Price is right shit. Do, 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 do. Exactly. Shit. Okay, so what do we think the overall box office take is? How much did this movie make? We're going to my man Wally again. Uh, 50 million. 50 million. Overall box office, 50 mil? Yep. You're doing great. I'm going to go. <laughs> You're doing great, bud. <laughs> yeah, Reynolds sees me fucking You're doing great, bud. I get over here. I'm like, I don't. I'm going to go... Uh, 167. 167. Tara. I'm going to say like 80s, 90s. Like somewhere between 85. Yeah. Sure. Right there. Overall box office take $235.5 million. Whoa. <laughs> Randall nope. knew nah, Wally was off. Yeah. Randall's, been, off. Randall's actually been the Pretty closest. good. Yeah. I'll say you, you've had it. I tried to be a little modest on that one though. Only because Wally started out with fifty, and right? Like, and I you're can't like, fucking guess, like three hundred or something. I can't make Wally well, feel that was, bad. I, was was, I didn't watch this think, until way later, so I didn't think it was. Well, really that's that's what I was gonna say. I was trying to think of the time frame, and like, it's not like parents were taking their kids to see that movie in you theaters. Got, I wasn't going to Shrek. Yeah. four hundred eighty so, something. Right. Yeah. Right. It's got to base everything off yeah, Shrek. But, yeah, but Shrek. <laughs> Shrek. Shrek. It's a solid metric. Parents, <laughs> parents are taking their kids. I do High math school students were still going to see Shrek. I mean, everyone could go see Shrek. American Pie was a very specific audience. Like, yeah, you're not yeah. going to take anybody under the high school age to go see it. Well, you got to think, this movie if is even about... even the high school age. I was going to say, this movie is about high schoolers for high schoolers. Yeah. yeah. So, I feel like the people that were going to see this movie legally were the people who were just out of high school turning 18. Right. Sure. But... Was this pushing Everybody. boundaries of, like, these kinds of movies? Yes, it now? was. Oh, at, yeah. at the time, yeah. this was... So, at the same time, maybe we wait... I'm going to wait until this next thing to get into what my next point would have been. Because Ooh, suspense. Yeah. Suspense. But I'm going to say the overall opening weekend box office numbers were $18.7 million. So in its first weekend, it did almost 20 mil. What else Damn. did? What else came out that weekend? That's what we're getting to. Yeah. The top 10. <laughs> I like how excited Steve is about this. It's okay. The top 10. All right. Number 10. Summer of Sam. 1999. 1999. I have to keep remembering when this came out. <laughs> that's, why, that's exactly what I'm trying to do right now. I'm like, what the fuck? What you remember something. You remember something. Number nine, Austin Powers 2. Ooh. Oh. The Spy Who Shagged Me. Yeah, that's a good one. I think that's the best Austin Powers movie. We should have done that one. It's really you, good. Somebody could have picked it. Oh, wait, you no, weren't. Not you were, me. Not you, yes, yeah, right. I was told. He was specifically told. <laughs> he was only a guest. He couldn't make the his second and the third are blurred. Is that, the, is that what the, the two Asian chicks in the beginning? The second like, one. Fuck you, oh, fuck me. Fuck you, oh, that's fuck the you. third one. You kiss your mother with that mouth? No, yeah, that's the third one. That's, okay. Gold member. So is that his dad one then? Yes, the third one's with his dad, with okay. Mike, Michael okay. Kine. Okay. Right. And Alfred. Okay. And the Dutch. Uh, Alfred. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, okay, I'm there. Smoking a pancake. A bong and a blitz. Pipe and a crepe. Cigar and a waffle. I like how we all did that. You guys are adorable. All right, all right. Thank you. Thank you. This is what I was about to say. Number eight, South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. Oof. Whoa. Uh -huh. What I was going to say, mm -hmm. these two movies were the most vulgar movies that had ever been put into theaters. At that point. Pushing towards children, even though <laughs> children couldn't see them. Right. Right. Yeah. Number seven, from May 21st, Star Wars Episode One. The Phantom Menace. Oh, oh that had been in there for a little while. A little bit. This Which is makes July. Sense. It makes perfect fucking sense. This yeah. is what I said. July 19th. That was May 21st. So this is the first. And number seven. What? The, you said Phantom, Phantom Penis? Yeah, that was episode one. Pod okay. racing. What did you say? Phantom Penis is okay. what penis, I call it. Penis. Okay. It's like penis. Yeah, no. It's yeah, like I penis. figured it out. Right. Yeah, Thanks, yeah. Randall. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny when you have to explain it. I know, know, right? <laughs> like anytime I say jalapenos, you didn't I say have jalapenos. To explain it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's right. what I did. Exactly. You did not have to explain it. I just asked what you said. Oh, you okay. didn't get it. That's so you. we had to explain mm -hmm. the joke. No, well, I got sometimes it. you don't know. Like you honestly don't know. I have to explain it. So I don't know what if you're not because you're so serious young. or not. You're just so young. Number six, Arlington Road. I don't know anything about that phantom penis. <laughs> Arlington Road. <laughs> Arlington Road. I feel like uh, <laughs> Richard Gere or somebody was in that or Tom Hanks. Or I don't even know what that is. Nope. My title. Number five, the general's <laughs> daughter. Oh. That, that sounds familiar. What is that? That so that's John Travolta. Uh -huh. 
and they're investigating. I actually just watched this recently. That's oh. a good movie. All right. They're investigating his, the the general's daughter. Right. Dies. Oh. So they're investigating her. What they think is murder, and and rape. And did she get murdered and raped? Are you gonna watch it? Just look. I'm not gonna watch it. Spoil the shit much. out of it. Okay. This. So <laughs> she actually. So that when they find her, she's tied to the ground, like dead? to stakes. They find her dead. She's like Ooh. blue. She had been there all night. Jesus so, but what you find out at the end is she actually had someone tie her there to prove a point because she got raped when she was in PT by a bunch of the male military guys. PT? And she told her dad That's and other training. people about it and they covered it up. So to, so to prove a point. So she didn't get she, raped. No, she did. Oh. Afterward. Before. Post. She she got raped before by NPT. like a, a group, like six guys out during like you. training. Uh, blows my mind. What's your favorite John Travolta movie? Mm. Are you a Grease? No, it's not going to be Grease. Although I love Grease. For obvious reasons. Obvious, yeah, exactly. Um, oh, Just man. curious. Mm -hmm. Favorite John Travolta movie? Name song. I really song. like John Travolta. Swordfish. Yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> Halle Berry. <laughs> Halle Berry in that, so... <laughs> It didn't, it didn't even Where, because of Halle Berry. I don't know. It's a hard one, know. right? He's I, done so many yeah. shit movies. What? <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. Face off. <laughs> Face off. Face off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen what Nicolas Cage looks like today? He Dude, looks like uh, John Travolta see, in the 90s. Uh, what? He had rough. that post-party scene for that new yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, And here's a picture of him coming out of what looks like a Satan worshiping party. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he's got, like, white paint on his face. Did you see that? No, he looks... Like, isn't it for the, the Dracula movie that he's it in? Could, I have no yeah. fucking idea, but he yeah. looks fucking awesomely bad. <laughs> he's well, what's that movie? He's got a movie coming out where he's playing himself. I really yeah. want to review that. Yeah, it's got my, my yeah, boy yeah, yeah. in it. I want to review it. The Mandalorian. Oh, the, the guy with the, oh, with yeah, the yeah. Spanish name? Is it a Spanish name? What is his name? He's a Spanish guy. Sorry, I'm... I'm your boy. It's your boy, Steve. Why am I blanking on his name? Who's that? I'll look it up while you, you keep going if you want. Okay, what's the next one? What number was Jin that? Jin Dejarin is his oh, name shit. in The Mandalorian. Six. Why can't I think of his name in real life? What number life? was that, five? That was number five. Number four. Five. Randall, you're wrong. My bad. Tarzan. Oh, my oh. God, the cartoon? Yep. That is one of the it's best so Disney good. movies. Pedro Pascal. Yeah, he beat me. Oh, I was really beat trying you. to beat you. I was really trying to beat him too. My, that's how my brain works. It's just like randomly. Jesus. This is, is the name. Don't remember it when you need to know it. Just <laughs> randomly. That is one of the He's best Disney movies. Uh, I agree with Easily you. Easily one has, of the best soundtracks. That's what I was just going to go there. It's Phil, Phil Collins, right? Yeah. Three. Yeah. It has. It's Phil my number Collins third number. soundtrack. It's not my number third. I love it. So Treasure Planet, Mulan, and then Tarzan. Those are my top three. I would put Tarzan over those, but that's different. It's my personal. Yeah, yeah I can have that's, that's all you. That's all you. <laughs> I love that movie. It's it a really good movie when you think about it. It really is. And it was very well animated too like oh, a lot yeah. of those movies back then do you remember the live action one it's, uh, it was terrible <laughs> he fights the gorilla with his bare hands uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. wasn't that a, a scars guard scar guard scar guard could been i don't know i'm pretty sure it's a scars guard <laughs> do you remember do you remember the the brendan fraser george of the jungle i, I love, love that, that. Movie. i love that <laughs> fucking movie i just <laughs> remembered so that movie like a few weeks ago i was like he, oh my god that's funny. he is a national treasure he brendan fraser is a national treasure is one of my favorite actors and i'm gonna say this man has range have you ever seen bedazzled Yes. It's I I say that every time. That's right. Like, right. Nope. He played. Get the fuck out. He's of also tw he's twenty. No, he just, he's twenty six. I'm joking. <laughs> Bedazzled is going to be picked here soon on this podcast because it's such a good movie and it also has one of the I think prettiest women on the planet still today, Elizabeth Hurley. Elizabeth Hurley. Oh, oh yeah. Old uh, Austin yeah. Powers. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. What was that other one? Blast from the past. Blast yeah. from the past yeah. is great yeah. too. Blast is great. Nope. Oh yeah. Brendan yeah. Fraser has done nothing bad. Is that Alicia Silverstone in that? Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nailed it. I like one. I don't think I can say this. Say it. But I love the scene in that movie where he finally comes up. Oh, I know out of the. <laughs> <laughs> he comes up and there's a. He, it's, he's been in there for thirty years, right? And he comes up and he sees a black male lady, and he like, says, "Oh, my lucky stars." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say it on this, but. Hey. It's funniest fucking line I've ever seen. The black lady's face is like, oh. And his face, too, make, like sells it because he, he's, he's not doing anything oblivious. wrong. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Perfect. All right. Top three in no particular order, and then we got to guess. Okay. okay. I'm going to give you the dates, too. We're doing this now. So, American Pie is in the top three. 
Wild Wild West from July 2nd. Ooh, I love that hey, movie. Will yeah. Smith. Wiki Wild. Yeah, we talked about it last Will week. Will Smith bringing and it around to from, relevance. from June 25th, Big Daddy. Ooh, that's Ooh. a good one, too. Oh, oh man. Good. Good. Those are good. Shit. Yeah. So I'm going with my that's man, cute. Walter. I'm going to go... No, because the it. dates, the, yeah. this is the time you where the it. dates fucks Randall's me up. Got it. But remember, Wild Wild West was huge. I know. Yeah, so, okay. Big Daddy was huge. huge. I'll do Wild and then Kanga since, Woo since, song. since Big Daddy had been out for what, three weeks ish? Yeah. Hip Hop Anonymous? And then I'll Hip, do, oh, then I'll do the, what was the third? Hip Hop Anonymous. Well, American, <laughs> you give all easy ones. You give you it was a third. Was a third. American, American Pie. Pie. American, American Pie. Pie. Yeah. You know the movie we're Jesus, talking about. Right. So you said number three. Told you. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't hear. Randall was doing the hip hop. <laughs> hip hop. Hip hop. You said number three. Uh, so the Wild Wild West. Number That's where I learned the word impermeable. By the way, impermeable. You know what I'm talking Jim about West. when he was Desperado, he Rough Riders. Fest. No, you don't want none. Of it. <laughs> so there's, that, yeah. there's that. There's that, and then there's uh, then we'll do Big Daddy since it's been out for a little bit. So you're going one, two. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Big and Daddy's then American been out Pie. for what three weeks, right? Yeah. And then I'll do American Pie. Okay, Randall. Even though America by May 18 million. Yeah, that was good. But <laughs> Wild Wild West. Was I know. A cultural I know. But, it wasn't, but it wasn't it was its huge. first week. But it wasn't still, its first week. So still. Jurassic Park was in like the top three for like. Jurassic Park. Also a great soundtrack. Yes. Yeah. Anyways, Randall. I'd have to say Wild Wild West. I feel like Steve gave us that hit. Big Daddy. American Pie. Okay. So exactly what Wally said? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Tara, what do you think? Mm, well, I don't <laughs> want to say exactly what Wally said. You say whatever you want. What's wrong with what Wally said? This is America. <laughs> You're not very um, good at this. <laughs> when did when did Big Daddy come out? So Big Daddy was June 25th. Uh -huh. Don't be looking over here. What are you Wild Wild West I'm was looking. July 2nd. He's looking 2nd. at himself. He's not looking I was at I'm joking. He's I'm joking. I'm looking at Tara. I'm joking. <laughs> Why do you care where I'm fucking looking? <laughs> Why? What's with you guys? We're over here. I'm going to wear glasses. Someone give me glasses. You don't have fucking glasses. <laughs> so no one I got glasses. <laughs> All right. Okay. Did you hear what I said? Nope. June 25th was Big Daddy <laughs> and <laughs> July 2nd was Wild Wild West. And okay. we are on July 9th. So Big Daddy had been out longer. Correct. About three weeks, right? Okay. Yes. Mm. That's why I picked my order. Yeah, I get it now. You would like another? Song? I would like another. What, uh, Wild Wild West was huge, but Big Daddy was also what do you got? huge. Got yeah, let me try that. got lemon and watermelon. Try the lemon game. I'm going to go, so uh, just to be different, I'm going to go... Yes, you're going to go. Wow, is this ass? <laughs> um, <laughs> is this ass? I'm going to go... <laughs> Big Daddy, mm -hmm. Wild Wild West, American Pie. You have scratched the mic. <laughs> it is as follows. Number one, American Pie. Number Fuck. two, Wild Wild West. Uh, number Fuck. three, Big Daddy. Wow. Oh. wow. Everybody's wrong Damn. this week. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Will Smith got me, man. I love everything he's in. You know, he's okay. Including the Oscars. Time. Including the Oscars. Dude. <laughs> Keep your wife's Solid name. slap. Out. Fuck. Yeah, Fucking I love. Up. So I've reviewed was, that right by myself. It. Yeah, I've where I down. slow mode it <laughs> on YouTube, and his elbows. He's t he's, he's waist. tight. Like if you watch professional slapping, have you watched that, Steve? <laughs> Those, that's how those guys fucking they do fucking, that. They fucking lock their arm kind yeah. of shoulder-ish, yeah. and then they fucking swing. And he, he did it. He wound up. He fucking that could have knocked Chris Rock's ass right out. Yeah, if it had a better connection to his face, could sixty forty. It was real. Sixty forty. It was real. I don't know. Could have been. We're all talking about it. 30, 70. And no one watches the Oscars anymore, so that's very popular. I don't think it had anything to do with that because there. I, I don't fucking know. It's a weird timing thing. She comes out and says something about her alopecia like weeks before. She's and been then, saying about it for a long time now. Yeah. Right. And yeah. she's. I watched the video where she's like showing on the top of her head she's got alopecia. That's a fucking facelift scar. That ain't alopecia. Alopecia is. Could be a circle. Or something, dude. <laughs> no, uh, when you lose your hair with alopecia, it's in like blobs, right? With what she's showing, it's like a straight line across her forehead. But that's alopecia. Is any it, this. Alop alopecia could be any like it could be yeah. like a just hair in splotches from any numerous amount of things. Well, there's, so there's yes. different types of alopecia, exactly. but yeah. exactly yeah. normally what women have alopecia it comes out in splotches. So it's not a straight line. She's showing on a video that she's losing her hair in a straight line. Which just so happens to be that's where somebody would get a face or a brow lift scar. That doesn't necessarily mean she doesn't have it. All my so. medical knowledge is from Grey's Anatomy. Nice. Either <laughs> sorry, <laughs> mine is from House. That's Ooh, probably it. That's probably yeah. I don't, yeah. Well, it depends because Grey's Anatomy we had a lot more seasons than House. It's still fucking going. So it's either because it's so bad that it's good, 
it's, or that they're not talking about medicine because people would be so burnt out on it. I don't. I haven't watched it. I haven't watched a single episode. I haven't watched in a few seasons because it went on too far. What show? Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy. Oh. So, so <laughs> American Pie Sorry. was number one. Number one. It came out. I know. Crazy, wow. right? So now that? we're going to get to a point that we don't have the person here to say it anymore. The Tomatometer. Yeah, do a deep voice. Good. Oh, yeah. you fucking know. The Tomatometer. Randall, what's your deep voice? You got a deep voice? <laughs> Tomatometer. That sounded like come on. That sounded like Buffalo Bill or Bob or whatever from Terry. You're the singer out of us. Give us your lowest. I'm not a low singer. I'm not a tenor, but I'm more curious now. What is it? What's the tomatometer? Tomatometer. It's the tomato meter, but well, I know. But sorry. Tomatometer. That's too. That's a bad. That's an unfortunate word. Yeah, well, it wrong. really is. I'm not doing it. <laughs> she, she says, so that's I <laughs> am not. Nice. Dude, the Tomatom. Wally, what do you got? You got one. I'm a big guy with a high voice, so that's not how this. The Tomatometer. T- the Tomatometer. That actually was terrible. Actually you good. like you the like. Tomatometer. He had to brace for <laughs> it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, the Whatever. Tomato Meter. All right. So what do we think? Tomato Out of a hundred percent, critics gave American Pie critics. one. Critics, not critics. Okay. Wally. Uh, fucking fuck me. Uh, <laughs> Beautiful. No, thank you. Suck me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, z- z- 70. Z- 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 Randall. Z- <laughs> 83. Tara. I'm going to say 67. All right. Oh, she's she's fucking playing the game right now. She's, she's playing like, the game. Yeah, she is. And playing I will say game. this. The critics, this is the first for us on the decision reel. The critics and the audience score are exactly the same. Whoa. Oof. 61%. Fuck. She played. He did it. I don't think I agree with that score. You think it should I be do. higher or lower? <laughs> we'll discuss that later. Yeah, later, later. Right. What? He said he agreed. Didn't even pick it. How are you going to agree with that? I don't. I Look, I was hoping to say <laughs> this to the fucking end, but I'm not a big fan of this movie. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> it fucking gives me... I had to state this fucking earlier. It makes me feel weird. I feel so bad for these guys. 90% of this... It just doesn't feel right to me. What I do you fucking, think? But do you feel the same way as the second one? All of them. It's all Even of them. Even American Wedding. I think American Wedding is a little bit different. I think when you get to the later ones, it's a little bit different. This one feels too authentic, I guess. Like, I get it just what feels saying. too tangible. Like, I don't want these young men. Anywhere near me. To, 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 well, I don't want to, them to deal with what they're well, trying to deal men. with right now. They'll just fucking make it more organic, dude. You're fucking up. Does it hit you like right in the heart? It feel fucking personal? feels weird. You feel personal? No. Do you get anxiety personal? watching it? Partially, yes. Hmm. Partially. So you feel for these when people. When they're about to do... What are you doing with that? When they're Stop. about to do something... I barely even fucking touched it. <laughs> when they're about... You Stop you're finger out. fucking the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I was holding the side of it. When, when they're talking about what they're about to do, up. I'm just like, I want to go in there and fucking beat their ass. Like, that's not how you do that. <laughs> You're well, doing, this is a terrible choice, dude. You're fucking, I this is what stupid. it was meant to do, though. Exactly. It, They're living in the And land. it did a great job yeah, yeah. at making Apparently. me not want to have to deal with yeah. it. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> that makes perfect sense. If you feel that way watching a movie, that's doing what it needs to be doing. Yeah. Why do you sure. watch any tar- type 100%. of entertainment, right? To feel something. Yeah. So maybe that should. I watch fucking that, cartoons every evening. That should boost your score <laughs> by at least one point, then. Even if you what? don't like it, if it's making you feel bad or feeling anxiety, mm-hmm. that should, like, don't tell me how I score my shit, Steve. Don't I'm gonna you tell try you to lead this wrong, in your high so. score direction, which is where it's gonna be. Uh, this is gonna be lower than you think it is for me, but whatever. Yeah, what what I think is not gonna be low. Ooh, bu- 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, keep going. Okay. What's next? <laughs> What's next is I need to figure out where we're at. What? Well, we're not even voting oh. on audience score because you're right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, can yeah. vote on the IMDb score though. Go, that is out go, of ten, go, go, go. so we can do a point, a decimal yeah, yeah. point, so it can be like. You know, 1.0 or 1.5, whatever you want. Okay. Wally, what do you think out of 10 IMD bo- the DBs at? Didn't you say it was the same? No, oh, no it was a audience. Great store audience. Uh, yeah, right. Pay attention. Shut up. Jesus. I'm having an off day. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, IMDb's uh, 6.5 because they're always really close. Okay. Yeah, that was good. I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going 6.7. 6.7. 6. 6. 6. Yeah, I'm playing the game. Tara. I'm going to say 7.3. Ooh, that was my first guess. I like it. 7.3. I don't know. It is a 7.1. Shit. She's getting it again. She's getting it again. stuck with my gut. Why do I lose yeah. this every fucking time we suck. play this game? I know. 
<laughs> so bad. Why are you here? I don't right. know. I'm the one that just like fucking sits here and just like, okay, this is wrong. D- he asks me first, and he's doing it now, so that way you know what not to fucking pick. Well, no, I do. normally go with the person whose movie pick it is, but considering you're to the left of me, I went to no, you next fine. and then around. I'm just being a bitch. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'm being a little drama queen. Be a little bitch. But by the way, I believe it is your pick this week anyways. Oh, I haven't even thought about it. Oh, all right, whatever. I got you, got, you got a little bit to go. <laughs> I got a, you got a little list. bit to go. So we're going to get to our favorite characters of the movie. And since you, Wally's busy, we're going to go to Randall first. Mine? Uh, What the fuck is her name? Redhead? Um, Bandcamp. 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 Michelle. Michelle. Her name, yeah, yeah, yeah. Her name in the movie is Michelle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll save why for my favorite scene, but her. Okay. The flute. Is it the we'll flute scene? It's got to be the flute scene. It's got to be the flute scene. Yes. Or the say my name, bitch. <laughs> yeah. I love I how that, that scene where she's she's like she said all this shit right and finally gets like sexual, but it's like a letdown. Like I, I played truth or dare, and she's I like, are we gonna screw soon? And she's <laughs> like, right. I put a flute in my pussy. Yeah, and then and you're like, like, whoa, wait, what? what yeah, the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Well, he even spits his beer. Like, <laughs> yeah. what yeah. the takes fuck? A second too. Okay, so that's my favorite scene too. Okay, we're just gonna yeah. fucking talk about it. That's yeah, fine. She's like, uh, this one time at band camp, I stuck a flute in my pussy. Yeah. Just, a second. You sound saying, a lot like her in like yeah. dude form in a really yeah. weird way. After saying, after saying all the dumb band camp stories, she just throws that one out. It's there. definitely a good lead up in and the way she, they do it. She's yeah. like, she's what, like are we going to do? I'm getting kind of impatient. Are we going to do this? Are we gonna, I'm yeah. getting like, antsy. You're getting antsy. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, like, what? <laughs> she was like, you don't think I know how to pleasure myself? So are we going to do this or what? I'm getting yeah. a little antsy. Jesus Christ. And then the part what? where like they get into the room and she's like, here, I brought two. One one for whatever yeah, and one so you can do set aside. Yep. What do you mean by that? I've seen your video. I know. She's like, well, yeah. then why, why would you want to Why do you, you think I go? asked you? You're right. a sure thing. Exactly. <laughs> I was like, that's Jesus fucking Christ. great. Yeah. Locked down. I love when he wakes up the next day too and he's like, huh? Was I've I been used. used. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, but then he goes, which is totally different from a guy's perspective than a girl's. And yeah. he goes, I've been used. Right. She's like, oh, shit. That is funny, right? When you think about it, the just, I'm not, I can't, not even going to try to say that word, just a position, juxtaposed, just, just juxtaposed, just, just just juxtaposed, but like, yeah, the difference between that, like, mm-hmm. and it is fucked up, but at the same time, guys are like, yeah, I got used, fuck yeah, and girls are like, oh my God. Yeah, but girl, <laughs> let's be, let's be real here, as far as, obviously we could go on about the double standard forever, sure. girls use guys too, mm-hmm. I've done it, people, we do it. It happens. That's fine. Humans I mean, are humans, right? So <laughs> everybody permanently yeah. has that view where he's like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've been used." <laughs> I mean, this movie, this <laughs> movie, other, have. but fuck it. What I liked about that though is that the whole movie is about the guys tricking girls into having sex and the guys trying to get the girls and stuff. And she's and the one. she's the one who mm-hmm. flips the switch. And that's what I like about that scene is yeah. it's like no okay. Bitch. Like, so you know what you. I what really speaks. Okay, do what you got to do. Hey, go, go pee. What I really like about me. this movie, if you can't go that way, what I really like about this movie is it shows the diff. Like each person who's trying to, you know, in the group yeah. who's trying to do whatever, each one of their stories are completely different, different and show a different yeah. thing of what could happen. Like you look at Kevin and Tara Reed. I can't remember her name. Uh, Vicky, Vicky. Or what, right? You would think. Once they go and do it, like they're going to be in love and whatever. Nope. She's no, like, I think it was an actual, going a, to different a schools. realistic adult exactly. thing to put in that movie. Exactly. And that's why I like it. And then you look at Oz, right? And they have that weird situation where he finds like the, the girl who's kind of nerdy, kind of whatever. And he was really only in there to get her, to get laid. Right. Exactly. And, like, oh, wait. and then she sees them like Stifler being Stifler and yeah. she thinks like, oh, fuck you. You know, like, I don't want to be a part of this. And then they finally, you know, he shows that he actually cares and whatnot. And I feel like they have the best, I would say, arc story. Because well, at the and end. and then Jim and Michelle, though, is pretty good. Well, through the, the next movies. Yeah. I'll agree with that. But in this movie. In the, just the one, yeah. Right. I feel like, yeah, she, Oz and whatever her name is, have the best because what they're. What is her name in the movie? Uh, me, I just watched it. back up. It's um, Heather. I know, right? So, I feel like they're on the de- the dock there, and then they they wake up in the morning. They're the only people who are still kind of together in the morning that like care about each other. Oh yeah, you know what I mean? Like they wake up and they're like you know cuddling on that couch or whatever, or not the couch, I the fucking like chair or whatever. I feel like situation was weird though because it was a very like loving experience that they shared, even mm-hmm. though they weren't even dating in the movie. Like right, they barely right. they knew barely other, knew yeah. each other. Right, but it it shows that you can have a quick you know, whatever fling and, and fall in on love the, with people On that note, though, of them, mm-hmm. one of, aside from all the sexual uncomfortable stuff in that movie, yep. one of the cringiest parts of that movie is the choir performance. Like, it's 
It's not good. So awful. But but <laughs> it's it's high school it's though. Ju- right? I don't care. But even, I don't they're care. not they're not going to states. It's so they're it's a competition though. It was a competition and it was bad. Well, they even say at the end when uh, when when Oz comes back and they're just like, "You're out." And the one dude's like, "Yeah, you fucking suck." <laughs> well, I love he he says something like, "I'm trying to I'm trying to let the music guide me," and she very quietly like I, I think this is one of the first times I caught she's like, "Well, that would be a start." <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> That's funny. Just like aggressive. roast him. Yeah. Well, that would be a start. Yeah. So, all right, Tara, what what was your favorite part? Or sorry, favorite character. character. Favorite character. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself because mm-hmm. Randall so, threw me off. So <laughs> I agree. I mean, I I I like what Randall I'm said sorry. about sorry. Michelle's part at the end. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I wouldn't call her my favorite character. She just wasn't in the movie enough mm-hmm. to be the favorite character. I like her in the second one. She was, you know, a she main was way person. more. In, yeah. Well, she was. Yeah. I mean, Jim and her mo- most most of the yeah. movie. You know, figuring out. Showing how they get together and how they mm. fall in love and whatnot. And I I agree. I think the second movie is better. So here's but, you know. here's what's here's what's interesting. When I if I if you had asked me, if you had asked me years ago. Keep thinking your shit. No, no, I'm just making. You're sure fine. You're fine. Continue. You're if good. you had asked me years ago, mm-hmm. like when I, not a couple years ago, like when I was younger, I would have leaned towards, and I'm going to explain myself in a second. It's fine. Sean William Scott, just because he was hot. Okay. Now, now I watch it. Mature, and Tara. he's the worst character. He's the worst. He's a sociopath. He is oh, yeah, terrible. 100%. But I would say my favorite. If we're not going to say the dad, because he's probably my favorite character, I would probably Good old say Eugene. I would probably say Jim. Okay, my favorite character. Okay, See. and I like how they carry his role through the movies. In the first one, he's very like mm-hmm. he's such a goofball. He's not really even that attractive he gains so much attractive in the second movie for some reason like he looks like a completely different person to me yeah he went through puberty finally. yeah he got older right and just and then he his, glues his hand to the tape and his dick that's like the best <laughs> and that's, 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 one of the best that's super attractive apparently yeah <laughs> but like even now like i like follow him on instagram and stuff still you because, nerd because <laughs> he's been, <laughs> but he's been in other stuff yeah, and new show yeah. He has yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yep. and his him and his wife are both actually hilarious on Instagram. Is his wife famous? She's um, written books, but she so no. hasn't been on like in, <laughs> she was. She's <laughs> been they ass, they man. actually met on a movie, so she okay. was like a supporting. It wasn't like a sure sure sure. But she doesn't do any acting now. Interesting. They have two kids. Good little kids. Good. They're both hilarious though. She's very like inappropriate, funny, which so is he. So it's. Works, yeah, it works. It was funny when he showed up on Orange is the New Black, and I was like, what the fuck are you doing here, Jim? Okay, and then I was like, oh, right, he's an actual actor who can be in other things. And, <laughs> Which yeah. is a great caveat to mine, because Stifler, I don't care what movie he's in, that's what I call him. Yeah. I agree with yeah. that. That's true. So I agree like, with that, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Like, you see him, you're like, oh, there's fucking Stifler again. Yeah, yeah I was, I, I don't know, maybe like two months ago, I was watching Evolution. And, yeah. uh, oh, my God. <laughs> I need... I need ice Tookie, cream. Tookie. I need ice cream. When he gets what do you up. need ice cream for? <laughs> what, fla- what flavor do you want? Doesn't matter. <laughs> when he ass. gets up on that stage to call, <laughs> to call <laughs> I eat Tookie, Tookie. <laughs> and he, the guy looks and he's like, you are embarrassing me. <laughs> I think we think, figured out that Tookie, Tookie and whatever don't work. <laughs> don't work. That, and then he starts singing. Oh, man. That is uh, one, one of my favorite movies that nobody talks about. And then the I guy, love that movie. And then yeah. from the... From the like he's on like the the walkway and he's like I'm gonna shoot him move it. get out of the right, way I'm right. gonna shoot him <laughs> I'll shoot him myself that's probably the best part of that fucking movie. David that's a, great one. That's it's a my, good movie it's on my list it's a good actually. movie actually but uh that this, it's definitely Stifler like a hundred percent and it's for that and it's not just for this movie it's all blurred together everything does even the one you mm. made me watch which was the hockey one what goon. was it goon. the goon he made me watch mm. goon and I was like everything he does is just all smushed together for me it doesn't matter what it is he he's d- he does all Stifler. He, 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 yeah, yeah, he definitely 100%. has that has like Tom Cruise type role models thing. Yeah, oh role models. Yeah. Yeah. So role good. models. I love your take on boobies. Yeah. You white? So <laughs> you Ben Affleck. You can't get you can't get me started on role models because then I'm gonna get into a whole Paul Rudd thing and I could talk about Paul oh, Rudd. Yeah. Paul I think Rudd everybody's is mildly also gay for Paul Rudd. A national yeah. treasure. He's also a national treasure. Seems like such a sweet man. I feel like I'd take him out on a back, date. Back back like from <laughs> I would call him too afterwards. Yeah, yeah. back like to immediately. like clueless days, like for yeah. sh- like all the way to adulthood. I always yeah. forget that too, that he was on clueless. He was the older brother, right? He's, He's been a stepbrother. No, they weren't. Right. Yeah, they were like stepbrothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was also in Friends. 
He wasn't friends. Yes, he I think was. Tara would Don't definitely bring know that, that up with her here. Yeah, he was the well, best supporting she, character. She's sitting in, in the Brent show. spot. Got married. How many Defeated. times do you Defeated. think you've watched Friends from beginning? I to could end? never. Not. I could never tell you. Were you upset yeah, when yeah. they took it off Netflix? Do you have it like on like Blu-ray and then you we just have, put that in afterwards? Or well, something? we have we have HBO Max and it's on oh. HBO Max. It's also on Nickelodeon every night. I do. Um, <laughs> every I night do, I watch it before sorry. I go to bed. Randall I do secretly loves it too. Own the yeah. DVD box Not set. Secretly. Oh, there's no doubt. Because my nice. parents bought it for me for Christmas one year. I have a friend's blanket, but my dog. What? It's in my dog's cage now. Oh, that's true. <gasps> have you gotten the Lego true. set yet? No, because I don't do Legos. But you should get that. But Lego set for what? Friends, friends. It's like the set. It's it the has room. the it's the set. It's their apartments. It's right. Dope. Brent. Yeah. Had, yeah. You're about to say Brent's quote where he was like, <laughs> yeah. it's, "Go ahead, you say it. I'll let you no, do it." I know he hates friends. Yeah. Rich trust fund babies just fucking each other or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's what> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't Which worry. They're not. <laughs> no. But, but how that's... do they have those apartments Phoebe, that are so big in New York? Phoebe grew up homeless. Did she though? Monica her, got no. hers from her grandmother. That's a, that's a great come up. Monica got hers from her grandmother. Well, her apartment, yeah. yeah, yeah that's why apartment. it's so cheap. It's rent control. She inherited, yeah. got it from her grandma. Maybe that's what we needed Chandler. were these two here. Why didn't you say something before? Did you what? not want to talk but about he was never. He wasn't someone. on an episode where we were bashing. But that's you, why. Heard, you heard him say this. You yeah. heard Brent call it this. Trust fund mm-hmm. babies doing each other. You never heard that? Mm-hmm. It's terrible. Oh, if you I did, figured you would have stuck up for it. But that's but, why, and Joey and Chandler's apartment is, is smaller and worse than theirs. Yeah, but Chandler has a good Chandler job. Chandler has a good so job. can pay for it. Isn't that like right next door? Isn't yeah, it? Like it's right, right across the right right yeah. hall. Okay. Just like, uh, like Jerry, Jerry and Kramer. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. Oh, Did so you know better. in the first episode of Friends, <laughs> the numbers on their apartments different. Oh, are different go. than the rest of the of the series? They change oh, really? them in the second episode. It's different numbers. Do you know And then why? they stay that way. No. Do you have uh, infinite amounts of this knowledge? No, I, don't. I was hoping <laughs> you She's, like she's you probably do. like me with Seinfeld. I know like every little backstage thing. I really want to go to a Friends trivia night one night and just like... Demolish, Demolish everybody. Mm-hmm. Just fuck it. Yeah. But yes, yeah. Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd's the best supporting character that was yes, on that he show. <laughs> he's he's really the best. And he only, wasn't he's even really in it. the only supporting character. And he wasn't even in it until season eight, nine. Yeah, it took a while. Yeah. Oh, wow. How many uh, seasons ago? Ten? There's ten. 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 94 to 2004. <laughs> this is so fucking ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. It's nice. Mm-hmm. Somebody that shares, you know, what is it? Common knowledge common and interest. And interest. Yeah, that's yeah. not interest. fucking. That's the word. Common I knowledge. Let's talk. I mean, let, <laughs> common let's, interest. Let's, yeah. Although that's I was getting there. Thank I you. feel <laughs> like that's a lot of the world shares that interest. Yeah, except for these. Even if too. Brent and these guys don't. Yeah. Yeah. Means the uncultured fucks over here. You uncultured swine. I've seen all the friends. I'm gonna say. I'm not saying I don't like friends, but trying to watch it back, I just go. I'd rather watch something else. I will say too, because I feel this way about the office. Also, I. I think someone Uh-oh. who has not watched Friends, you it's hard to start at the it. beginning. It is it, you kind of it's have to, it's definitely dated. You kind of sure. have to get into the characters mm-hmm, and stuff mm-hmm. more to to well, appreciate like so so Parks it. and Rec, right? Dated. You We're go about to be best friends. Hold, hold on, <laughs> Parks and Rec. You tell <laughs> people <laughs> you you tell yep. people to watch Parks and Rec, and they start it, and they're like, "This yeah. is fucking terrible," and they watch three you episodes get, and they're you out. Have to get into it. Parks and Rec is definitely the second season hits a stride, but you have to watch the first season to understand what's happening. Yes. Right? And that's so how good. I feel about The Office. Like, I love The Office, but when I first yeah. ever watched it, mm-hmm. I didn't watch it when it was on TV. I didn't either. I, I, I went back and watched yeah. it after yeah. when all the seasons were out. So when I first started watching season one, I was really, I was pushing through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was I mean, it was so uncomfortable in so many parts, but then once you just understand that that's just the way they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The person I was with back then was like, can you just watch the office with me? I was like, yeah, fucking yep. fine. And then I ended up loving it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Carrick actually, so my boyfriend, he actually said that he thinks you start to appreciate the office more when you've worked in an office yourself. Well, obviously like yeah. when he first started watching it, he was still saying the word. Obviously. Obviously. He was still in the Navy when he first ever saw it. He was still in the Navy. Like, oriented all, shit. like, like out in the Navy. And <laughs> yeah. he was like, this is in the yeah, yeah, I was in the Marine Corps when it started it. So and then like, oh, he okay. and then but then he also started watching it with me after I got into the second season and stuff. And he was like, "Oh, okay. I haven't finished the Office. Well, I won't um, finish it. I'm gonna say this: you don't like need seasons. to finish it. Like, Three seasons, no, you have, to, no, you have to. No, you have to finish it. I'm going to. It's just listen, one of those things where I put on casually. How far? How far are you? Have you seen Will Ferrell show up yet? Sucks. I think Fucking I made it. Made it. <laughs> this is a while ago. I think I made it to where Hydrus Elba shows up with Maybe his sultry voice. But the last thing I do remember there's they had a, the basketball. Okay, so I you just Idris Elba. Idris he's already Elba's there. The he's already yeah, there. He's already there. So he's but already there. They're 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 doing he's the basketball thing in the, show. the, the basketball warehouse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Robert you know California. 
where they're doing the basketball thing in the warehouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you're like I'm... almost to the end, but it's not like mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the last thing I do remember. There's not a lot that happens but afterwards. I've also fallen asleep so. through many episodes. But too. so, yeah. like honestly, after Michael leaves, it yeah. just kind of they're just fill they're just filling. That's Steve Carell, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're yeah, just yeah. filling. Unpopular the opinion. There. I think he's the worst part of the show. <gasps> oh, he he is a he's a bad part of the show. But that's because he's so like. He's, he's a terrible he's actor. So hilarious. He is cringy. He's, I but don't on purpose. Not, he's yeah. not a terrible but I don't actor like it. because he's no, doing it on no, purpose. No, no, no. I, don't I love that Steve Carell. Yeah, I love Steve the Carole. same or successful no, no, without no, no. him. Yeah, no. no. But he, I agree with what you're saying. Though he's a bad character. He's so what's the word? He's Over so, the top. He's, he's so, oblivious. He's so close minded, yeah. and he is like. Completely unaware of his. Right. He's the hyper mm -hmm. version of what everyone thinks their boss is. Right. That's exactly. Literally Have what you the whole seen the actual is. UK office? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen some of it. I didn't watch the. Couldn't whole. get through it. Yeah. But that's the whole basis of the but show, more, and it makes dry. more sense. It's dry. It's I love dry drier. humor. Yeah. yeah. I'm Very the driest. Dry. You know, I am the yeah. dry. The, yeah. I am the I am the <laughs> desert over here. So I like that version better, and I okay. watched all that first because, again, everybody was talking. You gotta watch The Office, you know, blah blah. I was like, all right, let me watch what it's based on first because it's it's not very long. It's yeah. like you know, it didn't how, last as many seasons, right? Mm -hmm. But they 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 told the entire story that needed to be told through that, yeah. and I really like that. I like David Brent or whatever the fuck his name is, um, Ricky Gervais's character. Yeah. That is Michael Scott to me. So when it Steve was, Carell did it, it was different. It was mm. different, but it was more cringy. Where yeah. his version was more, I'm not self aware that I'm cringy. Where Steve Carell felt like I am self aware, but I'm just gonna fucking do it anyways. See that it didn't feel like that to me. I feel, he completely felt unaware to me. Of yeah. Everything his. is built upon him for the most part, and maybe Dwight and what's his face. Dwight, I like Jim. that. Yeah, those Dwight, those three guys. Dwight. I don't think Dwight. he can Dwight. have that TV show. No. Heck? Be what it is without those I love. Three I actually <laughs> really like when it gets to the point in the show the where the pranking is so fucking good. Oh my gosh. The yeah, pranking is you so have to good. watch like it's all a his phone calls to his. montage of the, <laughs> so the pranks. I will say yeah. the my favorite one is Asian Jim. Yes. Oh, that's yes. definitely yes. the that's best part. Amazing. We see that's him good. unwinding yeah. slowly. Yep. Like yep. it's super good. I like the FBI one too or whatever, where it's like he's trying and he's like on top of the building at the end. He's messaging him. He's messaging him. It's so uh, good. I, that's one of the best parts of that show, I think, to me, is the growth of Dwight and Jim's yeah. relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's obviously Jim and Pam at first. Well, yeah. And then once that's over, Dwight and Jim. Yeah. And then there's nothing else, and then it's like, ah, you don't need to watch it. I actually read, so you've probably already gotten to this point, so I shouldn't be getting anything away. You don't, you do, I don't give a shit. Actually, you may not have. So at the I part where they go to open the store, <laughs> this is after Michael's gone. At the part that they go to <laughs> open the store in Florida... <laughs> Yeah. They go and open the store in Florida, and that chick tries to get Jim to cheat on Pam. She tries to. Originally, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they actually Truth discussed him doing it. They apparently <gasps> they had discussed him do doing it, and they were like, There's "No, no we can't do this because it's going to completely yeah. ruin everything what we've built with." He's so Jim and wholesome, Pam. and he even said it. He was against it. He was like, "You can't do that to my character. It's so yeah. it's so uncharacteristic for was, Jim to do it that." It was Jim and Pam. Forever. Yeah. He yeah, loved her show. forever. I don't that's, think I've seen him in a negative, painted negatively in anything he's ever done. No. I love John Christopher. Especially not that because it was. I loved his happiness stuff during the, during yes. the. Uh, yeah. The pandemic. Pandemic. Yeah. That was so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He started his own. Um, yeah, what is it? Uh, some good news or something good like news. that. Good yeah, news. Yeah. Yeah. Might as well I still follow it. It's fucking it's so great. Good. No, there's that. And there's Quiet Place. Or not Quiet yes, Place. Yes, Quiet Place. Oh. That was really good too. One and two were both I good. Can't what? So gonna good. Pick You're gonna pick that one. That's yes. not a good one to talk no, about. Is, I love that movie, but it's not a good. If one. we're gonna if do, you put if them we're gonna both do a together. suspense slash horror movie, we should put them both together. Do something better than that. Yeah. Not better yeah. because that movie wasn't good, but more to talk about. I should do like. something fucking weird. I have them. Uh, I have a. I have it all labeled and sectioned. Yeah. Aww. But I have the. You. My, I guess we if should. we do one, I'm gonna do the mist. Steve's Ooh, like, let's talk about. Don't freak me out when I was a kid. You're gonna watch that. You're just gonna feel fucking dirty. I fell asleep on the couch and woke up in the middle of the night and it was on. I was freaking out. That movie's fucking awesome. Yeah. Back to American Pie. Yeah. So while you were saying your favorite character, I'm going to get to my favorite character now, which is definitely Eugene Levy. <laughs> Jim's dad is fucking great in this movie. He's Every gold. single part that he's Wholesome. on screen, he is the movie. He's golden. Yeah. Sure. He's and got that face, right? That face that like can react to anything. His, it's the eyebrows. The Jim it's, Carrey it's, face. It's, it's the, the caterpillars, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will say this. Every movie that I've ever seen Eugene Levy in, he's been 
gold. Yeah. Right? Na- yeah. Fire some off because I'm trying to think of some. A multiplicity. He plays oh. such a small such, character, yes, so, but he kills yeah, it because yep. he's like, what? I don't remember. Like, I was supposed to be here. Like, What's and right? then. Oh, my ma- watch is set. Right. All to, I can think about and is it the makes commercials per- that he does. And what I can't even remember what that's fucking for. What was the commercial? Was Sarah, commercial? Sarah. The one where he's like, I'm going to make French toast. I have that no one. idea it's, which it's not the dry, clear eyes guy. Obviously, it's no. he does he does commercials too, and I can't no think idea. of what the he fuck did it one is. for a uh, car, c- c- maybe. And Carmax then he, or something like that they, recently. The, the best in show movie. With I was the gonna dogs. say best yeah. in show. Yeah, yeah and true. and Catherine O'Hara was his mm-hmm. wife in that too, yep. just like she was in Schitt's Creek. I love Schitt's Creek. I love Schitt's Creek too. Keep going with the fucking movie. We're going to get to our favorite part or scenes now. Randall has already said his, so we're going to get to Tara. But I flew my pussy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm so glad you led me off with that. Uh, <laughs> oh, my favorite scene? Yeah. So actually, I I really, and this is so lame, I really like when Kevin calls his brother and he tells him about the book. Okay, yeah. And he pulls the book out because he actually genuinely wants to learn and wants to give his girlfriend well, even the his best experience. Yeah, yeah. Even his brother kind of asks him that question. Because he's he's like, okay, now you get the book, right? Because why do you want it? And he's like, well, I want her right. to enjoy. And he's like, okay, then you can have it. Because he wasn't going to give it to him if he was just going to be exactly a just print. trying. The most yeah, yeah, wholesome yeah. thing. It really is, right? Podcast. Hey, ever. I had right. to, <laughs> I had to really dig <laughs> right deep for, for to get this book that part, tells you how to fuck for chicks. A wholesome right? part of that <laughs> of the movie. It's funny. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. There is a movie called American Pie Presents The Book, the book. of Love. Yep. And it's funny because like this movie kind of glosses over the book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like he doesn't show it to any of his friends. No. Well, mm-hmm. he in the second one. No. He, they take him to the school and he I thought he Yeah, they find it. No. Oh, you know what? That it's was the book of that love. was a they almost did that. The part where they're talking on the beach, they almost did it in the school. When they're talking around the fire, Kevin goes out because he's upset because Vicky brought. That's right. That's it right. Was another guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, that's what I'm thinking of. It was a. They changed it. Right. It was like but deleted. Oh. So. What I'm trying to say is, you would think if I found that book, I would go, "Hey, Wally, Look check this. this motherfucker out." You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Like that feels like the tongue tornado. <laughs> like, come on. Like, so it is crazy, and it's like very glossed over, and it's like barely part of the movie because it's really, like five minutes. Honestly, just for all the girls' peace of mind in the world. They should write those publish down, that yeah. book and distribute it. Probably should to, <laughs> to the male species. Well, if you do see the the American <laughs> Pie presents <laughs> the book of love, <laughs> y'all don't know <laughs> shit. Look at that. Stop. If you ever I seen, I didn't it at all. <laughs> I need to fix I didn't it. I'm, even so, touch I'm so sorry. Have you ever seen that TikTok where it's like Check. the guys there like, what does it feel? What is what does sex Steve. feel like to a girl? Steve's and it shows the girl <laughs> reaching behind her bed trying to get the plug into the. Check. I haven't seen that. That's funny. She's like, this is what it. This is what it is. <laughs> like trying to get it in <laughs> trying to i think trying to find the the bean the connection the oh. bean but Steve, like yeah like book. not, look, <laughs> like not looking i'm just like okay. oh flick the bean from uh, right. ugly truth right. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad somebody else got it i got it i thought you were trying to fuck the bean steve is what i thought oh. you were trying to say do you ever Where uh does this fucking flick go? The bean? oh my god you just push it up against it i I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> Wally, what's your favorite part of this movie? <laughs> oh no. I like yeah, yeah. I, see, yeah. I see this is why he has me on here. I really like <laughs> I really like the poop scene in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. I think that's fucking hilarious. But I also love the With exchange Finch. between Finch and uh the what is that Stiffer's lady's mom? name? Yes, what is that's her name? A, that's though? her name. Everyone quotes her though. What's her no, like her name in no, real she life? She says Finch's mom. She says her name. Oh, um everyone and, says her name. Jennifer Coolidge. Cool, no, yeah, no, no. They always do the Coolidge like the impression. I love I want that a hot exchange. Dog real bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bend and like, snap. He's like I want yeah, he says he wants liquor and then she's like I got aged gin 18 years old yeah, right, or right, whatever. Yeah. Perfectly just the way, aged. Just the way I like it. Yeah. That was perfect. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Those are mine. She she actually says her name in the second one or third one. I think it's the third one. And he, so he starts calling her by it in the, yeah. while they're having sex. And she goes, no, 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 call me Stifler's mom. <laughs> well, it even says right here, if you look at like the, the casting, it, it says even Stifler's says, mom. mom. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So. I don't even remember what her name is. What was the poop scene? Oh, when, uh, Stifler gives him like laxative. Right. Yeah. 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 Because he got, he, he told won't, he, he won't beat go up at by him. Yeah. The girl that he liked or whatever is in there and, Talking about him, and he's like fucking blowing out his O ring yep. while trying to take a shit. Because he would, he would not go at the school. He yeah. would go home to go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. So. Yep. 
<laughs> he's like trying to that. put the toilet paper down. He's like doing one, one at, at a time. time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and he puts like three where his digging balls. <laughs> <laughs> just like right there. <laughs> it's so good. So They're perfect. all coming off one piece. <laughs> right. <they're> just <laughs> so good. It I really, love, it's truthful. Yeah. I love the thought that goes into little things like it. You know, yep. it's something about like thought that, that one little, but he just puts extra down yep. right where the goods are going. He's just like, shit just tickets. Just one after shit the other. Shit tickets. <laughs> It's perfect. That is anyway. a good scene. A good so my favorite a- scene would have to be definitely the 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 pie fucking scene because oh, yeah. it's yeah. so it's it's such a good build up. The like, actual pie fucking scene or Eugene Eugene Levy finding all of it, him. literally all of it. So, so the you, whole thing from start so to finish. Start to finish at, from where Oz is like it's like <laughs> warm apple pie. Well, you can't pie. say from there because well, he okay. says that at the beginning. Of but the movie. but the lead up to it, right? Like he yeah. it, it puts it in your brain. And so from uh, the uh, time Jim walks in, sees the apple pie. To Luge, finger Eugene fucks, Levy going. Finger fucks the pie we'll and then... We'll just tell her he, we right. ate it. <laughs> Can we talk about that pie? It didn't look like it was a fucking very <laughs> vagina-like pie. No. It, it was definitely... Well, it sure it wasn't... It crusty Well, no, 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 no. So it's not... He's not saying that <laughs> I know, the, it I looks know. like it. It's that it feels it's like it. It's also not very deep. Yeah, it doesn't. It also... Which I thought was mm, funny because mm, I thought he was going to let there. go of the pie, but he never did. He just fucking... He just held it. He just held it there the whole time. Yeah. Well, and then the one part Completely he's literally against- laying. He's literally laying on the <laughs> island. <laughs> it's so good. Anyways, I do. Your favorite part. We're there all was, talking. Do you know? How, you know how they call? <laughs> you know how they do Pi Day? Like on on. Three, like the math thing. Yeah, three, one, where four. it's like oh, yeah, it's yeah. March fourteenth. March fourteenth, and it's Pi Day, three, so they one, four, do. Five, five, oh, yeah, people yeah, go buy pie. When Pi Day fell on a Wednesday, I made a meme that was Jim fucking the pie. And it yep. was like when pie day falls on hump day. <laughs> that's funny. That's nice. Funny. nice. That's nice. perfect. Nice. If I had a, I could not, I could not think of it when I, when I realized there it is. Yeah. yeah. You got it right this time. I nice. did. Yeah. And last time I was like, Oh, oh. oh no. no, no, no. My other favorite. Oh, we got part. to do two. Well, I mean, we could, if you want right. the part with his dad, that. where he was just like talking about masturbation. And yeah. he's just like, uh, it's like banging a, a tennis ball against the wall by yourself. It's 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 not a game. It's better with a partner, right? It's better with a partner. <laughs> and I was like, God, good good for him. And he's like, Don't he's you such do a good you dad, want a partner? <laughs> right? Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I want a partner. Yeah, I want a partner. Yeah. Yeah. Just fire off the weirdest fucking sports analogy we can think of. And then again at the end, like when he's dancing with Nadia on the thing, and his dad walks out and starts dancing just and he's like, like him. Honey, I'm like, God, God damn it! <laughs> yeah, I was like, what a good character. He's, yeah, it's, and it's he's wholesome. wholesome. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, exactly. And it, it and he, if you look for you know to the next couple movies, when he picks him up from the hospital after he glues his hand, it's so good. Oh my god! What a, what a great dad. We just won't tell your mom. I think about he this. could have done maybe he was very wholesome, but he could have done better. Watch the next couple that? movies and then watch <laughs> all the spinoff movies because he's yeah, in all of them. Yeah, that's afterwards. Yeah, I love that. So but let's talk included. about all he's the learning. prep work you could have done where you don't glue your hand to your dick. He was learning. Or you don't fuck a pie. No one learns like that. He didn't glue his hand he to his dick on purpose. I know. Hold he on. thought it was lube. You're saying how this Stop guy's a great dad Jimbo. because he's so sweet, but he could have done prep work in his younger childhood where none of that stuff happened. All right. If you want to get all into it, he wrote the book. Well, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah. so the book yeah, yeah, that he yeah. finds, so he if you, if you, you yep. he was the original the founder of the work out. <laughs> the dude's still doing the same. You don't fuck a pie. Let's talk about that straight out the gate. Have you tried it's it? The same like a wa- watermelon, grapefruit, anything you use. Have you tried it? it up. Ha- no, I haven't. So you want to know, you know why? Know. Because I wasn't raised like that. That's <laughs> if why. you've never fucked a That's pie, why. how Randall, do you know? Randall, a lot of times I like to think like I'm making sure that you don't do these things. And I wasn't there early enough, so I feel as like his, you did do these things. You as your I'm father saying? over here, he's <laughs> telling is, you. Yeah, yeah. Let's not let's not do that. That's not I how you learn that. I mean, like I haven't done it either. I never had to have that conversation with my parents. Parents about not fucking fruit, that's if right? I mean, yeah, yeah, you know, that's like, probably because so. your parents were they they had you going in the right direction. They probably <laughs> well, led you. They how, probably didn't go. Don't fuck a like a. Well, fucking, how would I don't fuck shove fruit? a fucking cucumber yeah, yeah. up there? I mean, but I don't let like, well, 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 What you're saying? We're naming fucking. What would fruit be? Phallic shaped. What fruit is phallic? There's a banana, banana, banana right? Shaped. Okay, yeah. edible it's objects we vegetable? don't need to get into. Huh? This is what eggplant is that a vegetable or a fruit? It's a vegetable. Just, a just eggplants definitely, but eggplants big, it's got a bro. Seed. That's awesome. For, What's for something fun to add in here, my um, mom actually was like, "Let me know when this comes out." So just like, "Hi, mom," <laughs> about. Oh, fucking bananas! Right. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job, yeah, yeah. Randall. Hi, guys. She's never done it, so we're good. I yeah. have, I have not. So <laughs> I've never fucked day. a banana. Absolutely let's not. let's Perfect. let's get this, this out. This what? man is very—he's very sweet, and all I was saying 
Yes, he could have done he more. He could have done a little bit of better earlier on dad work to where it wouldn't have been issues Awkward like but this. I think, but I you think know? that's what makes it so wholesome is because he didn't could be. know him how. Feeling weird yeah. He didn't know how to talk Agreed. to him I'll agree it. with that 100 Like I said, he is whole. I said that earlier on. He's wholesome. I just, like, you know, maybe I'm Because like I said earlier, who waits until their son's <sighs> senior year of high school to talk to them about mm-hmm. sex and the woman's body? Yeah. No. no. Yeah. You don't do that. By well, that but, point, he's already had... Right, class. right. Open Let's up to there. the middle of this magazine. I heard that it, is Randall. a woman. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> you see, this is a woman. You You're, see these? Yeah. Right. You see this? <laughs> that's good. Okay, so obviously I think we were all entertained, were we not? Yeah. Yes. Wally's like, uh, was, I think. I, this is a weird thing for me. I don't, this I'm is one of those say, weird ones for look, me. Look, I'm, I'm kind of with Wally on this though. I think... I was more entertained when I was younger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now watching it, I'm like, Ugh. like they're so, I mean, I think it's different because I'm a girl too. Mm-hmm. It's definitely a guy's, mm-hmm. it's more of a guy's movie. There are still definitely parts that I am entertained by. Sure. But there are a lot more cringy yeah. parts on the girl side watching it. There should be. Cause it's like, yeah. really? Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I definitely, that's, I was, Steve said you were coming on today and I was like, I thought of the movie choice and everything. I was like, oh, no, oh, I'd be good to see her perspective with this fucking movie. Yeah. Like That's, 100%. I mean, there's definitely, there's definitely there's definitely problematic stuff in that movie. Yeah. yeah. And I, as soon as Brent said he was out, I was like, I need to find a woman. Because <laughs> <laughs> Brent's I, I close just, to wanna, one. Hold, hold on. I just want to cut that clip out right there just by that with no context. <laughs> just It'll be, be perfect. Yep. I Brent's need to find here. a woman. I need to find a woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's going to happen. Sorry, Tiffany. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send that right to him. <laughs> That's perfect. Brent's that's the Perfect. sample. I'll be like, this episode. is what you missed. Yep. No. Brent. I, need to- I think this one's the same. If I if I can go next. I think this one's kind of the that's the reason this movie I'm still a kid. Like I act like an adult. I'm I try my hardest to act like an adult, but I'm a child. I'm always gonna be a fucking kid. I'm not yeah, gonna grow gonna up. Gonna I'm gonna be seventy years this old. Life a nightmare. I'm still gonna be fucking sitting in bathtubs and laughing at farts. Like, it's, <laughs> never, it's never gonna right. change. You're gonna light it on fire. I'm always young. I, I'm a you child. You farted the other day and giggled. Exactly. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a. We child heard about it. That keeps trying to fight to be an adult, and it's all day, every day. So when I watched this movie for the first time, it was like hard for me to like sit through because some of it just felt so weird and awkward like it's just saying. awkward for me and then it. i think i've carried it on to me yeah. mm. as an adult i think even that awkwardness is still there maybe i'm reliving the awkwardness like when i watched it younger mm. yeah I, it's just it just kind of gets it would you I sit, can watch it it just makes me feel weird would you sit down and watch this with your son no no <laughs> what what age Never? would he have to be no Never? over here no way. not at all Never? no 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 like he, if he, he was watch this at his own volition when he's older like when he when he's when he's an older human being, and I feel like he is a functional human being, he can go do whatever he's what, he thir- wants. He's, what, 13 right now? Yeah, yeah. So he's, If he watched it today, would you be mad at him? No. I, 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 wouldn't, I, wouldn't be, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad. Yeah. I'd be like, what? Why would you do this out of everything? <laughs> Why? It's, but I think it's a little bit. he's a little bit more desensitized to things like this than I was. I mean, it, I think everybody I is, I believe, at this age because of the internet. Yeah, well, in the comparison yeah. to us, yeah, like relatively to yeah, us, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I uh, actually, we were gated more at a young age in the comparison to the kids nowadays. I actually like wrote some things down because I watched oh, Steve's it. Steve's going to love you. I watched it today <laughs> with, with fresh eyes. She made notes? I made Who notes. does that? Yeah, right. Long ass notes. list too. It Let's hear it. List. Whatever, I'm go not going to read off the whole, because we've already gone through a lot. Really okay, sure, go for it. But yeah. one of the well, things. Well, you do it. One of the Wally's things. Pee-peeing. Go for it. Wally. I'm gonna listen to go a couple because I don't want to be rude. Can you grab but me then I'm gonna Miller fucking pee myself. One of the things I put on here was there no more years, which we didn't yeah. talk about. Yep. Is the whole reason for the pack was Sherman lying about having sex? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, like he so lied, and the then she finds out later right, and okay, embarrasses yeah. him. But that's something that actually does happen. Like flavors. people. There's a lot of things in this that, that that are that are and hit home 100. percent So I wrote that down. Also, I don't know. It's such a small thing, but this was probably the first time where I related the coach's speech when Oz leaves the oh yeah 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 the field. Mm-hmm. He very specifically at one point was like, "You don't score until you score," and I was like, "Oh." <laughs> that could be about sex. Yeah, and <laughs> it's funny too because the way he's talking to Mina Savari at the end, she's like, "You're not doing too good here," yeah. like because he's saying the same like, things. Yeah, he's like, "No, this is what we I already have. feel like I've scored. Man. This is yeah, I've already won." Ooh. Yeah, mm. it's not bad. I feel I like I don't like watermelon, but it's actually pretty good. Yeah, I like everyone. What else you got there, Tara? I also put a note on here that the soundtracks of the American Pie movies are. Yes, yes. A plus for sure. Yes. And that's something I wanted to talk about. We haven't got to yet. Is oh, well, then you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Blink 22 is just chilling in this movie. Yes, 
Yeah. There's also music. That th- dude's in my math class. Right. <laughs> There's just something specific I wanted to bring up when he went to go poop in that stall. Okay. There was a song playing. I can't remember what the fuck it was. It was about something running to, like, <laughs> yeah. slow down running or something. It was I perfect. Can't it yeah. was, like, yeah. perfect for that scene. I can't remember. Yeah. What it was. Even the second one, when he glues his hand to the the videotape also. Yeah. And as soon as he pulls it out of the VCR, the alien ant farm, smooth criminal. Dun, dun, mm. dun, 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 dun. It's like mm-hmm, perfect mm-hmm. timing. As soon as he pulls it out and looks at it. I like it. This We're gen- never playing that song, by the way, this genre of movies, though, smooth Steve, criminal? to compliment yeah. you always has done that. We're not They've what? always done a great, great job soundtrack of that era of music and presenting that era of music. Yeah. I agree with what you hundred percent. Like every one of we did, uh, whatever those other, the movies we did, what was that one about him having sex with that person, that chick, <laughs> which one? What are you talking about? Steve made us do. Oh, no, no, no. no. I brought this one up. Hold on, Steve. I meant to ask you this. Give me one sec. I made us do. You didn't make us do this. I watched this on my own. Sex drive. Accord. Fuck you, man. Uh, I wasn't even looking at it. Huh? I like that one. I love that movie. Miss Tasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that... Where Seth Green and he's yes. a fucking Amish guy. Yeah. It's yeah. Hilarious. Yeah, yeah, I was like, this Rumsprayer. is. A p- I remember what? getting to the what very is the end. internet. I got to the very end of that movie and I was like, this is a hundred percent Steve's. Yeah. Fucking kind of movie, like a Steve's Wheelhouse. But that, it's true. Like I, I do exactly like a. It, yeah, I do like a certain movie, um, and it's definitely this type of movie. I don't know what it is about these movies, and they don't make them anymore, and I don't think they can make them they're anymore. Fun. So. And that's that. You know what? That you're right. Like, there's just a fun air to it. Like, nothing's yeah. too serious. Nothing's yeah, too yeah. crazy. Even though there's some stupid shit going on, it's still like a fun ride. Yeah, you know most what I mean? of the movies now they fucking like. It's gotta be put serious. All this like real life shit into it. Yeah. The like, minute like so. That. I attribute. Just wants to go fuck a pie. Yeah, that's he does. what he's been. I attribute this to like the, the the Batman Christopher <laughs> Nolan era where it was like, yo, we got to get over putting nipples on bat suits and it being stupid and campy. We need to make it serious. <laughs> and then once those movies came out, everything was like, we need to be gritty and real, yeah. which is fine. But there's nothing fun anymore. Mm-mm. You know what I mean? Like, tell me the last good fun movie that wasn't with a Ryan Reynolds in it. Jackass, mm. but that's not a movie. You know what I mean? Well, I had I fun. I had fun. I paid money for a ticket, so I movie. had fun. But it's I get not. What you're saying movies like this, movies right? That just, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, There's yeah. no movies that have come out. Can you no. just have me on an episode where it's not a specific movie? It's just Ryan Reynolds movie. We'll yeah. do a Ryan oh, Ford. Ryan Ford. Ford. Can we do a whole like, month? What is that? Like six I'm, things I'm with, right Randall, with Randall, 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 Randall's gay friend. Well, like, don't yeah, pretend yeah, yeah, yeah. like not every guy has a guy crush on Ryan Reynolds. I love no, Ryan Reynolds, like, but he's got a fucking big ass forehead. That forehead I'm just going to I'm gonna say this. It's a shiny thing. I can catch a tan a off that dude. motherfucker. What do you mean? I'm sure you think he's a hot dude. I can, so, you, so what is it? Jen Ackles from uh, Jensen Ackles. Jensen. 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 Don't, Jensen don't you Ackles fucking tell me he's a right name. Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. What else? You went through a couple Paul Rudd. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I keep going. This is what I'm just fucking, give me the five. Give Jensen, me the five. Jensen ah, Ackles you know is going to be the, in the, the boys. season yeah. of The yeah, Boys. Yeah, 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 I can't wait. The Boys. Yeah. He's, he's, he's the wait. Captain America knockoff in that. Yeah. He really is. So, okay. Would we recommend this movie to our mothers? Nope. No. Nope. Not at all. No. Nope. Guess what, Mom? You're watching this movie, and you're going to enjoy it. <laughs> nope. you saying, my mom are you saying yes? Your mom? Are you my saying yes? Seen I'm it. saying yes. It, here's how I look at it. Would my mom like this movie? Yes. No. Is me recommending it to her going, oh, why would you recommend this to me? No, it's, is it a good movie and would my mom get a chuckle out of it? Yeah. So I'm going to Well, I think that it. depends on your mom too because my mom. Oh, no, obviously. That's yeah, not yeah. her thing. Right. My, my, mom mom does, my mom does what I do where it's like, <laughs> no, no, no. If she, it's, if it's like uncomfortable, I guess she just yeah. doesn't want anything to do with it. No, even if this if, does it in a minute. My mom, this is probably one of the movies where my mom would instantly stop watching it. Yes, and that's a very that has rare, happened. That's that a has very happened. rare occasion for my mother. S- sorry, mom. My mom, only my mom <laughs> can, even as grown adults, cannot watch movies with us in the same room that have like sex scenes. Exactly. She gets That's so exactly what it is. uncomfortable about it. Yeah, I don't think she'd do this by I herself either. either. Not my dad. My dad goes, yep. boobs? Yep. I'm going downstairs. He just smells them out. I don't my know dad. what it is he about comes it. comes down to the perfect scene. Perfect scene. Like Every time, he'll walk downstairs and go... What you guys watching? Oh yeah. Why does he got to smell? Yeah. You know he does. He fucking does, dude. It's crazy. I like know. Knows, I've been there. Knows. You've been there. I have. We've been all been. There. We've we, all been there. We'd be like a group of dudes watching something downstairs, and it'd be right. literally the one scene that's the most. There's five. All there's five seconds of boob on TV, stairs. right? And he just walks down, and goes, "What are you guys watching?" <laughs> all right. Actually, one of them. It might have been. What is the American Pie? Is the second one. The one where Stifler is like in bed with one girl and the other girl comes up out of the covers. And he's got two in bed with him. There's some movie where that's very early on in the movie. And as soon I think as, it's role mo- No, it's not role model. As soon as that happened, 
my mom was like, I'm not watching this. And it was within like the first five minutes of the what movie. And I was like, they didn't show anything. And she was like, they're insinuating. <laughs> It's a threesome. And I was like, well, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> it's a movie, mom. Sorry, mom. Sorry. My mom is actually is very Holland, fun. By the way. So Say that again? Did you go through the same thing Tom I went Holland. through as a kid where the, five. The, yeah. you're, you're, you'd be watching Did something, you your parents would kind of intuitive... In, Intuitively, like fast intuitively. Forward. know that something was about to happen, and then they would either make you leave, they would yeah, turn it off, yeah, yeah, yeah. or they yeah. would fast forward. I'm sure it. that yeah. it, I'm sure that it did. I just can't think of any. I do. I, do. I remember that specifically. I remember a seared memory, mm. Titanic, watching it with my mother oh, downstairs. Paint me like one of your French girls, Jack. exactly. And I remember going, <laughs> what, "What's going on here?" Steamy windows, hammer, <laughs> right? And my mom just like, "We're watching this." You know what I mean? Like, this is a good movie. And I'm like, "But what? what are we what sure? Are right? Are we exactly." Sure? And we just, all right. We watched it. It is such a very small part of that movie. No, no. That but movie is like as a, it's kind of awkward really for me too, to be honest. As that's an like eight another, year old, yeah. I'm going. That's fair. What's going on here, mom? <laughs> it's another one of those weird ones where she's really uncomfortable at first, like that scene. Yeah, mm -hmm. I get what you're saying. And because I remember, <laughs> I do remember actually watching this young, and then getting to that part and going, "Oh, okay, this is kind of fucking weird." <laughs> right. Even though I was probably she's about to see there. boobies. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fun like, fact, by the way, that's James Cameron drawing her. What? Yeah. That's so like when they weird. show the hands. Mm -hmm. That's James Cameron drawing her in that scene. Wow. Did he actually draw that? Yep. That's really good. Wow. James Cameron does what James Cameron does because he's James Cameron. <laughs> That's really Did good. Did not know that. That's super good. Fun fact. I have a bunch. Speaking of. <laughs> yeah. Good leeway, Steve. That's you like that? You like what I do? Oh, you've ever done. Thank you. <laughs> I try. I try. When submitting his script to studios, screenwriter Alex Her Hers titled it underage teenage sex comedy that can be made for under 10 million dollars which studio readers will likely hate but i think you will love it was later changed to east great falls high then great falls and finally american pie but they didn't make it under 10 million because 11 was, it was 11 million right but hey close enough idiots mm. they knew exactly what they wanted Damn. you're right you're right it took but, four tries for this film to get an r rating instead of an nc-17 oh, oh okay I always forget that's even a rating. Yeah. Where, what did it, how did they get American Pie? He fucks a pie, bro. <laughs> Fucking cool, bro. It's I get an analogy that, for vagina. So there's a song called American Pie. And this is all about I getting laid. And it's yeah, about, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Getting laid and doing whatever. So. Okay. It's like warm. It's a little reachy, home. Randall. I know what the song This is what is, we were talking about earlier when, you, when I got to ask you that you make sure that I have to, may have to re reiterate the fact of, of a joke or something. Like, you know. This is what face. I'm talking about face. right now. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. He is, he is done with you. Sean it's William fun. Scott was paid $8,000 for his role as Steve Stifler. What? This was his first oh. feature film debut. How much? Feature imagine imagine $8, being stuck with that from your first. That's like Harry Potter worth imagine, almost, you know? Imagine the raise he got. That's what I was going to say. Right? Imagine yeah, the yeah, increase to the second one. Also, if this is your first movie, $8,000? Fuck yeah, bro. That's, yeah, I mean, whatever. No. Yeah. What do you mean, no? This is 99. You're a nobody. And you want to no, be in a movie? I'll give you eight grand and you can be on screen for 10 minutes. No Think about it. He's not on screen yeah, very No long. one's getting big rates or percentages. Randall, have you, do you not remember how hard it was for Joey Tribbiani to become an actor? Oh, here we Joey go. Joey Tribbiani. Yeah, Come on, yeah, bro. Yeah, Come on. $8,000. He yeah. never got $8,000. Okay. Have you seen no, the spinoff? <laughs> Joey, what was that Joey? show called? Joey. 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 He didn't yeah. last very long. Well. Like, like right. one season. Yeah, it was exactly. like one season. It's kind of upsetting, actually. What else was he in? I don't even remember. A lot of stuff. Wasn't he one of the boyfriends He's for the Charlie's Angels? Lost in There's Space? The, yes. Lucy Liu. <laughs> I don't remember know Lost how in Space? I know that. And he was an actor in that movie as well. Yeah. He played an actor. He has, That's my first DVD. He has a show out now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've watched it. Got a new beer trimmer. He has a show out now. What's it called? Kill Yourself With It? Man something? Man of the Week. He has a show now where he's like... He, he's a dad. Is that the, the, got, the character in that that you're most attracted to? It's Ross. Pivot. It's not. I Ross. thought everybody Pivot. hates Ross. Doesn't everybody hate him? Yeah, like, they secretly? have to. So I Ross's character is annoying, but Man, David that? Schwimmer is that his was name? Perfect. Have you seen yeah. him in Band of Brothers? It's over. That's so it's weird. Man with a right? plan. It's done. Doesn't he? Pl it's done. Well, everybody hates him. The whole thing is a mate. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because they, yeah. they. I remember that scene where it's like oh, a test so scene, mm -hmm. and they tell him to go the wrong direction. Yeah. And he like fumbles and shit. Great, great. But he, but great. Ross's reaction times and like the way that he, <laughs> he's the, he's the best with stuff like that. Like just his. I reactions think to things. he's the best actor on that show. But he's the least tol Schwimmer? tolerable character. character. Right? Yeah. Well, his character is very whiny, and it's very. But he does it in such a way that you hate him. 
because he's so good but at acting. But he's so, yeah. He's right, so exactly. Good. Right. Yeah. In 2019, in an interview, Allison Hannigan claimed that the fans of American Pie still approach her in public by quoting her notorious line yep. this one time at band camp. Hallig Hannigan fuck, said she was okay with this as long as people don't shout out or say the sexually explicit ending of that line, Randall. I shoved a flute in my pussy. Especially when her two daughters are with yeah. her. Because she's got kids. Oh right, exactly. And it's so funny. Abrasive. It's funny when you think about it. Like, people still say that line today, yeah. right? That or some of Stifler's lines or whatever. Like, One time it's, at band camp. Yeah. yeah. That's like, the, but that was actually bigger than it. the flute. Yeah, I think yeah, so. That yeah. was the biggest yeah, yeah. line. Yeah. That one time I remember us. Yeah. yeah, I remember saying that shit all the time. Right. Yeah. And probably before I saw the fucking movie. That's how big it was, right? I probably mm -hmm. was saying one because time Because you would, camp. like, someone else would start a, a story and be mm -hmm. like, this one time, and then you'd exactly. go, at Big Camp. camp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Funny. I loved Funny. her in How I Met Your Mother. Me too. Me too. She was, I, she's, that's uh, she's one she's of like my favorite that one? shows. She's, I yeah. How couldn't I like it? One. It's about, half of it's but about you, Canada. All right, no. That's a good one. She, her the and. Hot, the hot what? girl from that show is from Canada. How is it about Canada? Canada? Yeah. The, she's What's her name? What is the Avengers? No, no, no. The Avengers Colby girl. Smol Colby Smulders. Smulders. Yeah. Smulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smulders. Yeah, yeah. Hot as fuck. Robin in the yeah, yeah. show, though. Yeah. yeah. yeah she's Canadian. Her whole, arc, about Canada? She's her whole arc is her being Canadian. She's, she's the Canadian. only one. She is. Right. So they have a lot of episodes that There's are them true. going to Canada, talking about Canada. No, they only, have, jokes about they Canada. only have one yeah, episode they, where they go to Canada. Yeah. And then went to the Canadian bar. And then they became friends with everybody. Have you seen Well, there's a lot of flashbacks. Have you dolled up? Well, yeah. Yeah, she's pretty. She's pretty. She's pretty. She's pretty. She. I liked. She's beautiful. I liked Allison Hannigan's character yeah. better. I'm, is she, is so, she the one from? The, is she the American? That's Pie? the redhead. Yeah. 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 She's also um, in she's, a weird way like. No, yeah. she's actually like she's, the, she's the worst. Attractive. I find her very, yeah, yeah. very. She's the worst character on that show, by the way. She is. She's so yeah. needy, so fucking. You need to do this yeah. or fuck no. you. Ted's oh, the yeah. worst character on that show. Yeah, you're right. Ted fucking is the worst Mosby. <laughs> that show has like the same writers as Friends, and if you watch it, it's so similar. Like, like li the literally characters. the same writers? Are they yeah. Some of them. Some oh, okay. of them, yeah. yeah. And the characters are so similar. Like how Ted was an ar a, um, architect. architect, then he becomes a teacher. Ross was a paleontologist, then he becomes Nicotine. a teacher. Um, Ross is very back and forth with Rachel. Mm, Ted and Robin, very back and forth. They've got Barney, who's a womanizer. Yep. Joey, who's a womanizer. The and one they thing have Barney's and, a way better woman. Chandler and Monica, <laughs> yeah. the couple, the, code. the so friends good. that are yeah. a couple, and then mm. you have Lily and Marshall, the friends. Yeah. That, I mean, it's very the smack thing that they do, where they the like, slap back. Yes, the, the slap, slap back. back. It's so good. Yeah. Barney <laughs> is my favorite character on that show, even though yeah. he's so Neil Patrick problematic. I I want to say this: so so there would so not good. be a Cobra Kai show without How I Met Your Mother, because say they brought it back up. Exactly. They brought it back oh. into. They had that episode where Barney was always talking about his favorite character in any movie was Johnny Lawrence, yeah. the bad kid. Exactly, He's Johnny. Like, no, that's the Karate Kid. Exactly. Yeah. It ain't. It ain't fucking um, whatever. William Zabka is the Karate Kid, yeah. yep. um, and that's what kind of brought them back into acting. And they're like, "Fuck, let's. All right, let's do this shit." Yeah. So I, I credit that with bringing Cobra Kai. And, uh, the first three seasons, Cobra Kai, amazing. Well, Last season was that's pretty good. The reason, but, but no, it actually it. was the reason. Says who? You? Or like actual like... <laughs> actual media yeah. outlets okay. because yeah, outlets. they were out... <laughs> William Zabka yeah. hasn't acted in forever and... Um, right. What's his name? Barney. No, no. Um, oh. Daniel... The Daniel Russo. Daniel what, what's his fucking real name? I can't. I don't I know. I can't. I don't know. Whatever. He. They were out of acting forever, oh. and they brought them back just for these episodes. Both and they them, got. Yeah. They're Russo. like. They're like. Yo. All right. Uh, okay, I'm gotcha, all right gotcha. with this again. Yeah. And then they started talking to YouTube, and when YouTube Red was a thing, they oh, made that, the yeah. first season of Cobra, Cobra Kai, Kai. Okay. and the first episode was a hit, and then nobody watched it, and then yeah. they YouTube Red died, and Netflix bought it, and been doing it ever since. <clears throat> Still not that good, but. I get it. It's not. But. I think the first three seasons are very good. I mean, it, your first doesn't season, matter. it does. Jesus. The well, first season no, is really good. <laughs> I acknowledge well, your. You, I acknowledge <laughs> your. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Randall's still butt appreciation hurt. of the show. <laughs> That's why I said that. <laughs> he is. God. Aggressive. No, the first season <laughs> is really. Want, Tara. <laughs> the first season of Cobra Kai we is really friends. good. We were friends. The second and third are all right. The fourth season's okay. But I enjoy it. I like what they're doing with bringing back characters from the movies and tying it in very yeah. well. So it's good. on that, that note, because one of the things I was going to say about that show, mm. I haven't actually sat down and watched it, but I've seen yeah, a few neither. episodes because I was, I was at a friend's house any. and they had it on. And 
the acting was rough for me and that's really hard for me to move mm -hmm. past. And that's one it. of the other things yeah. I was going to yeah. say about this movie is watching it now, it's very subpar acting. Well, these American are Pie. very They're very new fresh. Actors. Yeah, yeah, they're exactly. very new. I like that though because it makes you feel, it makes the movie feel more real because I don't know these people. I think yeah, that's, besides what, I think Eugene that's Levy one of the other things that makes it so awkward too is their, their acting is mm -hmm. not very fluid. In if the you listen to like that. that when we were talking about that little monologue part where he's like preaching to his friends how they're going to get laid before they graduate. he's standing up on the chair. Yeah, yeah, that was like one of those parts for me where I was like, will be no longer <laughs> flaccid and unused. And yeah. then like they say the same line in not another team movie. And I'm like, this guy said it better. Uh, another problematic, if you want to know, when he says this is for every guy who's not getting laid that should be. First of all, no one should be getting laid. That's not how that works. Like, <laughs> I, agree with that. I mean, if you get I laid, you get laid. Get Good laid. for you. Like, right, right, right. <laughs> men shouldn't just be out there. No. Getting laid because they're, they're supposed men. to be. No. Women control entitled everything. <laughs> being I don't think they sex entitled that at all. <laughs> Eugene Levy was told he could improvise much of the dialogue for his character, including the part when flipping through the pornographic magazines <gasps> with Jim, forcing a noticeably muffled laugh from Jason Biggs with the giant orgy line. <laughs> that makes that's it cool. so yeah, much that's cool. better. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually... I know. I like it. What I a dad. It. Contrary to popular belief, this film didn't actually invent the term MILF. A 1995 Usenet post initially used the acronym, predating the movie by four years. However, the film is largely credited as being the one to significantly popularize popularize yeah. the term. Yeah, that's milf, yeah. milf, milf. Yeah, now that's there's funny. like a billion different versions of it. Yeah, yeah. right. Smilf. Is that what, got, what the fuck is a spilf? Smilf. What's a smilf? I don't know. Stepmother, I want. Well, to then you've got. Yeah. You've oh, got nice. Dilf too. Dilf. Did you just randomly? Yeah, did I you? did. I, <laughs> and <laughs> copyright. <laughs> it's all Steve. Exactly. I like That's it. like in in American Pie, the wedding one to bring it back to American Pie when he's like, <laughs> "You motherfucker," and he's like, "You stepmother." Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I w again, I'm gonna say this: the second and third movie, I think, are way better. Or grandmother, whatever. Fine he says. But but you <laughs> couldn't make them without this first True. movie, yeah. right? So yeah. this lays the groundwork and it gets better. Yeah. I do also agree that like American Reunion isn't good, but I like it because it Brings makes you feel old. Back. I don't think I've it, ever seen it. Watch it it's, because it's also very uncomfortable. That one, like, because they're still going and trying to party like they did. <laughs> but in that's high the school. whole point of it, right? Yeah. Like you, it makes <laughs> yep. you feel fucking old yeah. and like, man, I can't go do that. Anymore. Exactly. So, I think of all of them, they're all on the cock. American by the way. Pie Two was yeah. my favorite. I of, of them, I, I think American Pie. I like, I like American favorite. Wedding just because there's well, a couple that things. That would be in my it, second. But. That would be right behind it. But I love the dance scene with a. Uh, Sean William Scott, and like in the in the gay bar where they're yeah, having yeah, the dance yeah, yeah, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. I completely forgot about that. I also like the part where Jim's shaving his pubes. Was that the second then, one? Was that that's the American that wedding. The wedding one. He's shaving his pubes and they go into the Is fan that the bear into dude the comes fucking out? yeah bear. Bear. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They have that little the dance off. Yeah, yeah. yeah the like dance off. Steve. No, you're fine. You're fine. It's all good. Selma Blair was offered any of the female roles she wanted, but turned them down saying, I just can't do another teen movie, which was so dumb, I should have just ridden that wave. Who? Oh, Selma Blair. She, yeah, because she that? did... Uh, uh, pretty much every, every... Really? You don't know Selma Blair? Oh, that's right. You're a baby. Baby. He's also just as bad with me with names. So <sighs> that's Have crazy. you ever seen Hellboy? Oh, uh, oh. A the long good one. Time have you seen? Yeah. Have the you good seen first two? Yeah. You, like have you seen Cruel time. Intentions? No. <gasps> you would love Cruel Intentions because oh I know you. My what gosh. is it about? I she was in a guy thing. Would. She was in a whole bunch of stuff. Let That's me see. What it's called, she was right? in Cruel Intentions. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. her name? With Reese. Selma Blair. Um, she was in Legally Blonde. She was the the bad girl. She was the girl that the guy that left to go to Harvard was dating in that movie. Like the one he dated after I'm Reese Witherspoon. Also, another movie that her and Reese, Reese oh, Witherspoon were was in also, together. Yeah, she was also in The Sweetest Thing. I yep. completely forgot that. That's a good one. Have that you talked about one. that one yet? I will we come on yeah. for that one. That was it, actually. It's a really, uh -oh. really oh. good movie. I used to know every word to the penis song <laughs> in that movie. <laughs> in that movie. Let's be, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Pale Ale Stifler Drinks is actually beer with egg whites in it. Yeah. That doesn't sound any better. Yeah. I know, right? Terrible. Like, even drinking that. I guess it's probably better. Still. Well, people just drink egg whites, right? Like, they're just yeah. eggs in general. Yeah. They just crack them open and do their thing. 
whatever. Yeah, she's been in a lot of movies. The Fog is the movie that freaked me out. She also very recently has been more well known for she's been going through um, MS. Yes, yep. And And she's all fucked up, yeah. Really, but I think she's doing better. I think she's been the medication or whatever she's on, I guess, is Mm. like making her a little bit more solid. This is what I was alluding to earlier. Was alongside South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut, mm-hmm. one of two explic- explicit films Shoot. released in the summer of 99 with the highest number of reports of underage fans engaging in unsuccessful attempts to gain entrance and watch <laughs> the film in theaters. Or people buying tickets to one movie and going to, and going going to, to see it. So, done that. how much more money could the, this movie have made? Probably if, a lot more. A lot more. But exactly. I also get why the... Cut off. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for <laughs> so. sure. Yeah. In the American Pie franchise, only Eugene Levy appears in all four theatrical movies and all four straight-to-DVD video sequels. In the theatrical movies, he is credit- credited only as Jim's dad. Since Jim is not in any of the videos, Levy is credited as Mr. Levenstein or Noah Levenstein in all the other ones. Mm. Kind of weird, right? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Because his name is not muttered in the first movie at no. all. No. Nobody even knows. Because yeah. mm-hmm. he's Jim's dad. Who he is, yeah. Jim's dad. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The one that took care of Jim. Right. Travis Barker was originally miscasted, or sorry, miscredited as Scott Rayner, formerly Blink-182's band member, in the credits when they showed him. And then they fixed it later. So I believe what? this was at the time where they were taking out their old drummer and replacing mm-hmm. him with Travis Barker. So this is like the first... Oh, so Travis was in the film. Oh, and they, they credited put him the wrong exactly gotcha. because they were transitioning him at okay. that point, mm. yeah. and so they credited the wrong drummer. Oof, yeah, Oof. awkward. I don't know. Awkward. Jonathan Taylor Thomas was the studio's top choice for <gasps> the role of Jim, but he turned down the part. What? Good old JT. You don't know JTT? You never watch oh. Home Improvement? You never watch fucking? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the yeah, middle. Yeah, yeah. He's okay. the middle yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Also, sidebar. Tim Allen will forever remind me of my dad. What? Forever. What a great dad. <laughs> forever. I know you got a good. I, just, good. I don't know well, what it is. Uh, I don't know well, what it is. I, he doesn't. They don't look alike. It just he will always. Maybe it's relatable. his attitude. Was it uh, yeah. like? There's. Do was you he the one in Jungle to Jungle? Mm-hmm. Yes. Do yeah. you remember that yeah. movie? Did you ever Maybe see that? That movie Tim Allen did Joe Somebody. With yep, I love that movie. Kid. So when he actually when the guy and that was uh, what's her face from Happy Gilmore. Hayden. Uh, no. Yeah, the girl he gets with oh, is... Oh, the girl well, he gets with, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. So when His he, daughter was Hayden. When he actually, when that first part happens, when they're in the parking lot, and she's in the car, and the guy yells at him and then knocks him out, I actually get genuinely, like, defensive when I'm watching that part, because he... I'm like, you just punched my dad! That's my fucking dad! You <laughs> <laughs> just punched my dad! You know, it's funny, Plus, like... she's sitting there watching, you know, the daughter's yeah, 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 right yeah. there, like... So you feel what she's feeling. I will say, Tim Allen bitch. is, like, everybody's... Every 90s kid's... 80, 90s kids' dad, because if yeah, you watched Home Improvement, 100%. you grew up with him as and being now, kind of your dad. And now so Last Man Standing. Everything I watch is a great, great lesson. Every you ending like to everything he was, was such he was a great lesson. Santa Claus. Santa Claus? I, yeah, I watched Last Man Standing. I like the first two. Yeah. Yeah. Santa Claus is one of my favorite Christmas movies. I watched the first three seasons great. of Last Man Standing. I liked it, and then it got political, and then they like recast people because they didn't like yeah, yeah. their political views. I'm like, fuck that. But I did think it was cool. It was a cool transition. Like, you know, in the 90s, he was a dad of three sons. Wait a second. And Are you super Republican? No. Okay, good. Hey, we don't get political on you. I was oh just asking. Oh my Relax. goodness. Are you like how we Republican? say Republican? But then, Republican. But then in Last Man Standing, we get, we he's get super got drunk. three daughters. <laughs> so it's a different type of yeah, parenting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like it's, it too. But it's cool. Yeah, and then but I like he's you know, still like he's not a home improvement show. He's in like a out outdoor world type Bass of. Pro yeah, shop. They yeah. bring back some of the people from yep. home. Yeah. JTT yeah. was in it. Yeah. Jill was in it. And then... Was somebody else in it? I don't remember. No, it was just those two. It was just those two. No, the, uh, I like that guy. The fuck. place is boss too. Yeah, he's they had um, Al. Al, Al yeah, it. you're right. It Al was, was in like there. Richard yeah, Kern. Yeah. Yeah, 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 love Richard Kern. Yep. Fun fact about that because I'm I'm full of uh, of fun facts. They had another actor that they casted for Al, but he couldn't make it because he was in another movie at the time shooting. So to, for the first three episodes, I believe three or four episodes, they had Richard Kern come in to do Al. But they liked him so much, they were like, fuck they this, we, we're going to keep him. him. Yeah, exactly. Worked so, out. And think about it. They were like one of the best one-two duos kind of yeah. in the 90s, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That was my show growing up. I have it all on DVD. Yeah, my mom used to watch it, watch it all the time, and I'd always come downstairs. She'd be watching, and I'd watch it, man. Yeah. I still there's, it. there's a dispute over um, why it's not on streaming right now. is because ABC and Disney own the rights. 
So they can't what? figure out home improvement. So they can't figure out who can stream they both it. On Who's the gonna right. put it exactly where they, they can figure it, that shit out. I know, right? Because I want to watch it. Yeah. Again, I have I it on DVD. I, I can that's watch one it. One that would stand. You like if you go back and watch it. If you're like the last rough. complete run I've watched was probably a year ago. There's a couple things because you know he's he's always been that macho guy it's who's rough. all about little, men like, first. Yeah. But it's always a good. Every episode has a good. Um, theme and a good lesson mm -hmm. i was gonna say lesson. so he always learns his it was lesson. always learning something exactly so even if you think in the beginning he's like being super macho and over the top at the end of the episode he learns his lesson and yeah. everything's good so and then they also did that whole thing where uh jonathan taylor thomas almost died and he went through like some stuff so they they hit some good shit with that so JTT. he had um Something where he had like a growth. Or I, was, I can't remember yeah, what it was. was, was lymph yeah. nodes or something. Mm -hmm. I yeah. can't remember. And yeah, it was a scare. So yeah. anyways, American Pie, out of 10, where are we at, Walter? Oh, my God. Just fucking do it. Rip it off like a Band-Aid. <laughs> out of 10. I, well, I'll give this movie a six. Do you want to elaborate on that? Or are you just... See? It's just not from... It's. I think we know how Wally feels. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I could laugh hysterically at this part, but it completely gets negated by me feeling uncomfortable at other parts. Yeah. So that's, that's, just, where, that's okay. just where okay. I'm at. Okay. Randall? I give it a seven. See There's great scenes in it. And a lot of... Pie fucking. That too. And <laughs> re-quotable... Someone argued. Definitely re-quotable <laughs> lines, right? Yes. And things that we say... Still, I like guess. MILF, yeah. even though they didn't come up with it, whatever. Popularized it. But they, they, yeah, they it popularized it. Popular. Fucking this one time at band camp, yeah. you know. You're right. You're absolutely right. I was saying this one time at band camp in middle school. Everybody probably was. Yeah. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Tara, where you at? I'm more with Wally on this one. I'm going to go more like six. Um, I agree with you. It does have a lot of, you know, good quotable one liners line there, yeah, and yeah. stuff that yeah. have, but I don't think it aged well. And I think as an adult watching it, it's different. I agree with um, you. So I think while there's still entertaining parts for sure in the movie, I wouldn't, I mean, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm like in a weird spot too. I'm kind of with Randall. I'm kind of with Wally. I agree. Six the point. way I, ch let me, let me finish. 6.35. Can I finish? Three, Can I finish? <laughs> you Can shut I the fuck up, Randall. Right <laughs> the only reason my, my score is a little higher is because the cultural significance of this movie. Before this, you didn't have movies like this. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it couldn't make the Wedding Crashers or American Pie 2 oh, or like all these other movies is that came really after the first it. one or is there anything else before this? Not really. Not R-rated comedy movies towards oh, you know uh high school high level. schoolers whatever talking about high school stuff so without this movie you don't get where we're at today i don't think you don't get all those movies before it you don't get all the dick and fart jokes that come out of My certain favorite. movies that exactly <laughs> so i'm gonna be with randall i'm at a seven and if it was just this movie looking at it without anything else six yeah but everything else with it there's yeah. so much that this movie brings to the table like you said, quotes that we still say certain things, yeah. you know what I mean? Or well, I'll say things from other movies too, but you wouldn't have those movies without, without this, this movie, right? Yeah. So you can't say, nah, this is shitty. Yeah, looking back nowadays, there's some cringe moments, there's some whatever, but I feel like it's 50-50 where it comes back, like we we're talking about with the Oz scenes and stuff like that. Like, mm -hmm. he's really treating a woman right, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She thinks it's he, bad. I mean, his, his character... Like, he started off pretending to be a good guy, and it actually turned him into one. So, like, right, his, his, right. his character growth is awesome, especially how they continue their relationship through college and everything. Exactly, right, exactly. So, you look at it where, you know, Stifler's the only one who's a piece of shit. Yeah, Jim, yeah, I want to have sex, but I want to do it Stifler's the right way. Stifler's a flat out, like, he's a sociopath. Like, oh, he's, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, he's nuts. My name's Steven Stifler. I have a 12 his penis around. You know? <laughs> <laughs> right, so, yeah, I'm, I'm at a seven, so, you know. All good. A fucking Folgers can. Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Hey, I think that's it. Besides Walter telling us what we're doing next week. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So what I have three doing? that I'm stuck between. I think I'm going to mm -hmm. do... No, let's help. I want to help. Okay, okay. I so <laughs> I have... I wanted to do Sicario as a serious action movie because I fucking love it. We do serious it. stuff here? <laughs> yeah. All the right. movie has amazing scenes. It's got James, James Brolin, the guy from the Goonies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's got him in it. There's just a couple other Thor, famous or actors. Not Thor. It's got, it's got, what's it, Jim's, uh, Jim's uh, actual wife in real life from Quiet Place. What's Emily her name? Emily Blunt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got her in it. She's really good. 
And then I also wanted to do, we haven't done an uh, animated movie yet. Ooh. I fucking love Titan AE. It's so fucking good. I was thinking about putting that on there. I love Titan AE. It's, <laughs> I love that movie. It's, it's, so, it's so good. Yeah. And then we talked, really about, we talked about Tim Allen, and yeah. I love Jungle to Good Jungle, and I, I never get a chance to fucking, yeah, 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 I never get a chance to bring that up. So I love Tim Allen, too. Of, I mean, of those three, I would I would do Jungle to Jungle. I would do. Personally. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that would be a good I feel talk. like it's been too theme-oriented, though, like movies like that and the, the, the era. We've been in that era for a little while now, that in fact, I mean, 90s, whatever. early thousands era. Stuck. You live there. I know you. I live in it every day, all day, motherfucker. Let's do, I, let's do, the, let's do Jungle to Jungle, and next time I'm definitely doing Titan A.E., and I want the first animated movie. I want to be that pick. That's fine with me. I love so Titan we'll A.E. Do, I'll watch that tonight. So jungle to Jungle. I want to do that one. We'll do that you one. know what? I'm excited. Jungle to Jungle is a great movie, and that's going to be our first. That is a Disney movie, right? It's, I think so. I, I think, think you can watch think it on Disney so, Plus. Because I think... I remember what saying. Uh, no, I think beauty. it is a Disney movie. No, I'm, so I think it is too. It there. I cool. think it is. Yeah. yeah. Last time I checked, I'd have to double check. But so I don't sure have to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, it should be. I mean, at least it did should you have to be pay for there. this one? Yeah. This one? I yeah. did you not do watch yet. it. You didn't watch. I just remember it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I right. did watch it, and I, I I had to pay for it. Yeah, I watched. You don't got the the cock. Yeah, that's I should get that. I checked on every other one that I have, and it's just not on. And so it's like almost went to Amazon. Huh? It's almost everything. Yeah, it's Disney. Steve, hundred percent Disney. Okay. No, the Peacock actually has like some good shit, uh, honestly, and you can watch That's live. Said, it's live almost Peacock everything where, on not everything. It's where all the weird movies go. Is that where okay. the office is now? Peacock? Yeah, NBC. Yeah, because get it, Peacock. Because yeah. yep. NBC. Yeah, you know, Anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. You can find us at thedecisionreal.com. dot com. You can look at our social medias: Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Thanks for Tara for coming on and filling Brent's big Void. seat because he's fat. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. Upgrade. Any, uh, yeah, I would think so. <laughs> I would think so. Brent Just would kidding, probably Brent. agree. Nah, fuck him. He doesn't no, listen. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for he listening, doesn't. guys. If you if you like what we said, fucking tell us that you hate it. I don't know. If you like, tell us Just you hate it. On. Yeah. If you, if you like it. Time. <laughs> well, it, it always happens. We kind of go longer than we want. We yeah. want to be in that one yeah. hour, 30 minutes. But fuck it's it, we're Tara's here. Fault. Maybe. It is, maybe. Maybe, I'm maybe sorry. whatever. No, 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 definitely not. <laughs> this is everybody. <laughs> we're yeah. a collective ADD unit. So, with that, bye. Bye-bye. That's not that bad.